folks, and welcome to D&D Major. Uh, I'm Gina Smith. I'm going to be the DM today. And uh, what this is, is basically a pilot test. We're trying to sort out our tech and our setup, and we figured that we'd record something to share with you all. Um, so yes, as I said, I will be DMing today, and I'm joined here by... Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah! Hey guys, this is Allison. I'm one of the co-hosts on Sherwin Gaming. You've probably seen me in our Dragon Age series, uh, amongst other things. I usually play with Gina, occasionally with Jake. Um, you can follow me at Allison underscore Huey on Twitter or not. That's fine too. Just throwing that out there. I... yeah. That's... that's it. That's me. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's all I have That's to it. offer. Um, all right. Um, I am Gus. I am a friend of Short One Gaming, and I play D&D with them outside of the channel. Um, I do not have a Twitter. You can find me at a crossroads at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Victor from the critically acclaimed Firewatch playthrough on Short One Gaming. If you haven't seen it, Please watch it. It's three years old. It has a video, <laughs> like a video glitch, but that's okay. It's still good. And if you can find me to send a message, I'll be very impressed. <laughs> you can find Victor at Allison underscore Huey on Twitter. <laughs> um, come at me if you want him to actually be on Twitter. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. I guess uh, you can also find me at, uh, at Gina Lee Smith on Twitter. Because I do have a Twitter account. That's two of four. We're doing well, guys. Yeah, all right. Half. So yeah, how this is going to work, uh, as I mentioned, is that in the future, we hope D&D Major will be an ongoing uh, D&D campaign. But today, we're doing a one-shot. And uh, I think we can go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, do you guys want to quickly introduce your characters before we start? You know, sure. Uh, what type of character you're playing, maybe a little detail about them. Yeah, yeah, let, I, I can start. So I'm playing Hasira. Uh, she is a bronze dragonborn monk, uh, way of the open hand. Um, I think we're all playing at level six, yeah? Yes, um, that is correct. Cool, cool, cool. Um, she is, uh, she's got a soldier background. She like, I don't know, it's kind of a, like a cool, I was thinking like, was it uh, Michelle Rodriguez from like Fast and the Furious kind of type? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Sure. <laughs> I'm um, here for it. But actually she's probably a little more, a little cooler than that. A little more <laughs> zen. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not that intense. Not, not too fast. Not too yeah. fast. Not but too furious. Just as serious. Just yeah. enough. Yeah. Just enough fury. Uh, you know, got the got those hands going. Um, so okay. that's me. That's, that's what I'm Playing. All right. <laughs> Gus, what about you? Um, I am playing Rexies. I am a tiefling warlock. It's, uh, how do I describe him? He's he's a little vain. Um, you know, it's it's he he tends to wear clothes that really flatter him. Um, he has a, he has, he carries a, he carries this special book, very fancy embossed book everywhere with him. And he actually has a special um, messenger bag type gear or like type situation. The book always sits on his chest. He's uh, very proud of it. And um, he is actually the brother of um, Victor's character. And I'm playing Xerxes. Brother, brothers in arms, if he had any arms. I, mine are very large, pythons, in fact. And I will be the strong arm of this group, trying to keep us all alive. As a, as a paladin. <laughs> uh, all right, fantastic. So are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah, yes. ready to go. All Ooh. right, so let's get to the intro. The first death at the hands of an invading extraterrestrial force didn't make international news. It barely lasted a full 24 hours on a local news cycle. Three dead in a small off-highway gas station. Slight signs of a struggle. Two years later, a woman died suddenly while walking her dog. Trees in the area around her body were cracked and mangled, but she seemed unharmed. Three months after that, the late-night staff at a pizza place collapsed all at once leaving behind a terrified three-year-old who couldn't find the words to describe what she'd seen. When a breakthrough finally arrived, it came at a devastating cost. At 7.35 a.m. one Thursday, all contact was lost with the city of Carrington. By the time officials reached the scene, a large swath of the city's main street had been damaged. Deep gashes and cuts bored into the buildings and streets. 
The area was littered with bodies, dozens of them, all collapsed in place, much like the previous deaths. But there was one thing that set the scene apart. Two survivors, a boy and a girl from the local high school, had managed to fight back. In the middle of the street lay the remains of one of the creatures, impaled on the broken end of a street sign. It was an indecipherable pile of terrible geometry that, even still and dead, caused blistering headaches in those that looked at it. The aliens earned a new name that day. The Rinder. And from there, the world learned three things. One, most people can't witness these creatures without suffering severe mental trauma and often death. Two, there are those that are immune to the Rinder's effects. And three, these creatures can be killed. There's a way to fight back. The attacks from the creatures kept coming, irregular at first, but with stronger and more devastating forces each time. And so the world prepared to fight back. Only those that were immune to the creatures' mental effects could properly combat them, but few possessed any sort of resistance. If only a very select few could fight, then they had to fight harder and better than any force previously imaginable. And so the Spathicor was born, a group of elite warriors and pilots that could push back against the Render. And you three are training to be the best in the business. You've been training at this city Spatha campus for the past few months, replacing the previous agents who had recently been transferred. The campus is built on two small islands located off the coast, one holding the barracks, training facility, offices, and so on, while the other holds the hangar, a large facility that contains Spatha's secret weapon against the render. It's late afternoon, and you all have been working in the gym for the past hour. So, to get started, I want to know, what is your daily training sort of setup? What do you do in order to keep your skills sharp and to stay prepared for the render threat? Mm. Well, I probably alternate between um, meditation. So like meditating maybe like out on the beach, like sitting mm -hmm. by the water and sort of like uh, concentrating and getting my mind sort of just steeled since I have to like protect myself mentally against these things. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was envisioning that I go into the gym and I probably do some like sparring with maybe like, are there like foam like robot things in there that I could like spar against? Thinking like Edge of Tomorrow style, like spinning uh, like creature simulators. Uh, I, I definitely out. see that image. I yeah. also see an image of like those football dummies that people run against. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. too. Yes. So yeah, no, yes. absolutely. Um, um, I, I think it makes it. I will say these are indecipherable masses of geometry, so maybe it's hard to perfectly replicate them. As long as there's just like a mass of foam it's that a lump I can, of foam. yeah, that I can punch. <laughs> that's perfect. So um, I think we can get those for you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And then I occasionally try and go and find somebody else to spar with, but they're hard to, I don't know, get a hold of or pull away from their weight set. So things to keep in mind about this facility <laughs> before before we jump into that. Um, so you three, as I mentioned, are the elites. You're the primary Spatha agents at this facility. Now everyone works for Spatha, but you all are immune and it, that's an extremely rare thing to be. So there isn't really a lot of people here. It's so like- There are, but they aren't soldiers like you are because the problem is you, you can survive an onslaught with the with uh, the render. In fact, you have in the past. Um, but people who can survive these fights are scattered across the world in order to defend their their local area. Okay. Um, so what the people that are at this facility are um, like engineers um, for for the things you pilot. There are uh, facilities managers. There's offices in the the like area above. There's people that work at the cafeteria. There's a lot of people here. Then they all live in the barracks or off campus uh, in the local city, but uh, you are the primary soldiers here. Okay. Mm. Which means the gym is yours. Uh, for the time being, you three are the only ones uh, in this mm -hmm. training room. So what are you doing? A, a lot of my, a lot of my regimen, regimen involves bicep curls in the mirror. <laughs> um, giving myself little speeches, pumping up. You know, it's it's our duty to protect all these people, you know, because we're the best of the best, and we got to stay that way. So, 
curls nonstop all day. I love the idea of the, you other two on like the elliptical and in the background you just hear this constant drone of like pep talk. Yeah, you know? yeah, you can do it. We can yeah. save everybody. Right. <laughs> do this shit. Yes. Best of the they best of the best. Sir. sir. They don't stand like. a chance. We're the crack team. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Rexy's the warlock. Uh, does not need pep talk. He already knows he is the best. Oh, um, he's definitely it. internalized it. <laughs> um, and, you know, his the boons he receives from his patron just, uh, you know, confirm that. He's a in what his mind. now? The, the boons from his patron. <laughs> that is, I believe that is how warlocks work. <laughs> his benefactor. His, his benefactor. His sugar his, daddy. His sugar daddy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> is, is he a real sugar daddy? Is he just, like, some powerful... <laughs> Uh, Oberon, king of the king of the Fey. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. That, works, that yeah. seems that seems pretty appropriate. So he works um, down at the red light district. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was thinking more of like an aesthetic, you know, like oh, save save us from the aliens. But okay, I guess that works. Too. I guess we're making He's it a weird. State of mind. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's um. Anyways, uh, yeah, he doesn't spend a lot of time doing curls um, in comparison to his brother. Come on, man. We he gotta, prefers more we body. Put a meat on those bones. He prefers more body weight exercises, a lot more flexibility. Um, he can actually raise his arms above his shoulders. That's my armor that restricts <laughs> that. Okay. <laughs> um, slightly different. Not and, those um, bulking neck muscles. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, he can, yeah. Why would you ever need uh, to go over your head? <laughs> All the enemies are down here in front of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're, we're diametrically opposed. Uh, I, think, uh, I think one little bit to add is... A yin um, and yang, if A yin you and yang. It's, uh, I think we decided that I would have dark skin and the paladin would have light skin. Like yes. literally black and white, yeah, literally right? Black. Yeah. Yeah. You are tiefling, so you can... You can, you can be a yeah. whole spectrum of colors. So. <laughs> I don't I even like, have... I'd love it if you guys were flop, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't, I don't make these we're not, we're not breaking any oh, today. I don't make <laughs> They're digging their heels in. Yeah, no, I trips. understand that. Um, I just narrate. <laughs> <laughs> no All decisions. Right. Uh, so you've been in the gym for about an hour doing your bicep curls, uh-huh. doing some capoeira, I guess, or Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some Pilates, you know, doing doing some like rhythmic dancing. Yeah, um, I love staying it. Nimble. Staying yeah. nimble, like keeping my mind open to the mystical and yeah. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. And and uh, training with the, the dummy. Uh, and I think Two of you decide that uh, after an hour of warm up, maybe you're gonna spar. Um, now this room contains not only, you know, workout equipment, a little green space, um, like a fake field of astroturf um, to pretend that you're doing outside training, <laughs> um, but it also contains um, both training equipment and actually your real equipment if you ever want to do sort of live simulation training. Cool. Um, right now you're only wearing your basic combat gear, but you do know that because this is the future uh, <laughs> and also fantasy sci-fi uh, if you tap the crest in the center of your um, your gear it transforms into full combat gear uh, for paladin that's a lot heavier um, to protect you from heavy blows but yeah for me it's my regular clothes in fact it gets lighter <laughs> somehow <laughs> I get naked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't have a magical girl transition. Yes. <laughs> um, so yes, if you want to uh, go ahead and spar, I think two of you could get in the, the ring. I think I'd be down for that. So I go, what's your character's name again? Xersus. Xersus. And Rexus? Rexus. Yeah. Rexus and Xersus. It's very confusing. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, I Do you guys like have, are you like, you have a horn that's sort of like broken, but it's the opposite horn on each other. So you like... You uh, my horn my horns are very elaborately manicured. Cool. I actually I do a lot of work on them. Okay. Awesome. I broke mine off to accommodate a helm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very lovely. Um so I go I go and find uh Xerxes. Xerxes? Xerxes. Xerxes. And I go Hey man. Yeah. Wanna... Hey, hang on, hang on. 498, 499, 500. Cool. Yeah. Cool. What's up? Yeah, nice. Awesome. Yeah. Do you wanna well, we go uh, go spar a little bit. Oh, absolutely. How do you feel about that? I'll let you keep your keep your armor on and your you can keep your sword and shield and everything. Oh, I'm feeling so, confident. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling feeling pretty good to get today. I had a I had a nice you had a good good little sit on the beach. Good little. You know what? I sure <laughs> did, man. It was great. <laughs> it was. I I really felt that. Yeah, whatever. I felt, I felt my center. <laughs> so, let's go. I want to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You two head it over to a padded area over by the mirrors and... And I drop into stance. Yeah. I'm just ready to go. 
and I'll um, push. I will um, wear my armor. Okay, and your, your armor materializes over your shoulders as pauldrons and across your chest as a big weeds breastplate. Um, and I think I was by the mirror, so I guess I seeing seeing the two You're of them squaring off. I, I, <laughs> sa- I saunter, not scamper. <laughs> please, please. Um, I saunter over, and uh, yeah. I uh, find a good vantage point to watch. Are you so you're like on the edge of the little arena yeah, area? Yeah. Okay. I'll pick up like a heavy foam training hammer. <laughs> and I'll don't want to beat you up too much. I'll, I'll <laughs> fair enough. And I've got one uh, like fist clench, and the other one is like just an open like clawed hand ready to go. So is that you want a high five? High five your face <laughs> with that roll. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. <laughs> new dice. I'm gonna roll my new dice. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, who's who's who? Um, Hasira got thirteen. Oof, by one, twelve. <laughs> and I got seven. Okay, fantastic, Hasira, you're up. All right, so how big is the area that we're in? About fifteen by fifteen. So um, we're about yeah. we're about ten or fifteen we're feet pretty apart. Close. We're all yeah, kinda you're close. you're kind of up in each other's business. Sweet. All right, well I'm gonna. This is more of a boxing ring than like a. Like arena. Full, yeah, an cool. arena. Well, I'm gonna rush on in and pop pop, make two attacks. Okay. All right. Let's go. Uh, 17 on the first one. Nope. No. All right. And the second one, 18. Nope. Just bash your hand away with my Shit. shield. Ugh. Okay. Well. Um, you should have known better. <sighs> All right. On the second hand, I'm gonna spin around and I'm gonna spend a key point to do a flurry of blows and make. T- Two more attempts to attack you. Okay. Okay, let's do this. No, I one done hit. I rolled a three. <laughs> um, <laughs> and You're learning one, a lesson here today. Uh, 19? Nope. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, so you flail out with paladin. four blows, um, and some of them land. You do make contact, but with um, I'm just standing there. <laughs> yeah. Shit. With Xerxes' like strong armor, it doesn't seem to affect him. He doesn't even shift as you uh, <sighs> deliver your blows. Asshole. You spin back into place, and right. yeah. My turn. <laughs> I'll just bop her right on the head with my foam <laughs> hammer, <laughs> playing whack a mole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I missed <laughs> one. Oh, oh my god! Oh, one. Cocky, he wields his his hammer way back uh, and very very clearly telegraphs the move. So as he swings down directly, you just kind of step to the side. Just... All right, fine. A normal one, like right in the ribs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, fourteen. Uh, does not hit. All right. This is not a very impressive. <laughs> <This is> awful <laughs> fight. <laughs> Maybe Woo! it's not. Maybe this shows that you're both very good at defense and <laughs> yes. very impressive. I don't think that's what it says. No, though. I don't no, think so either. No, it doesn't. Rexus, uh, you're up. Rexus on the uh, side there. Seeing the just absolutely pitiful showing for his brother, <laughs> um, I'm going to viciously Damn. mock him. Um, oh! Wow! Xerxes, Xerxes, maybe you shouldn't be using the foam hammer. <laughs> All right. Wisdom save? I think I think she can deal with it. Um, yeah, it's a wisdom save, DC 15. Natural oh. 20. Ooh. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're used to it at this point. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, I've never listened to your <laughs> taunts. <laughs> so you take no damage on that, right? Nope. Yeah, yeah nothing. Nope. If you save it. Okay. All um, right. Why don't you come in the ring next, brother? <laughs> I'm fine here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going you to... Up. I'm up. So I'm going to do that first attack on you. Oh, that one should definitely hit now. It's a 20. 20 hits. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and let me roll. For, should I roll the second attack as well and just like see if they both hit or should I roll the uh, damage first? When, Whichever you way you prefer. You want to go about Anything? that. Um, I'll roll damage first and then I'll roll the second attack. Uh, what did I get on that? Five. Cool. Five cool, points cool. of damage. But since I um, connected, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a key point um, to try and do a stunning strike against you. So you got to right. make a, a con save, my dude. <clears throat> of 15. Pardon? Uh, of 15. So uh, I won't tell you yet. Right. I'll go first. Uh, 23. Yeah, <laughs> make that. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so you're not stunned. Um, let me roll for my second attack. It's a natural 20. Okay. Um, so that's a crito. And a crito. Yep. Oh, damn, that was a one. Double that. That's two. Uh, five points of damage. Okay. Um, and 
Let's see. I'm going to do. Spend another key here. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Okay. <laughs> well, hold on. You don't have to. For way of the open hand, you don't have to spend your key in order to do. You get one extra as a bonus action. For no key. For no key. Um. Sorry, guys, this is the first time I've ever played a monk before, so I'm working Not on a it. problem. I handed uh, out these characters, like, to you all, so yeah. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I definitely anticipate a learning curve. We probably okay. should have said that when we started. We got these sheets handed to us today, like, right before we started. Yes, so. yes, yes. Uh, we're learning on the fly. By um, request, you yeah. all wanted yeah. that. <laughs> um, uh, whenever you hit a creature with one of the, that grants by your flurry of blows, you can... Okay, so the point of this is that since I'm not using any weapons, I just get more punches. So, um, okay, well then I'm gonna attack you okay. for all my bonus action with my okay. extra attack. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm gonna do it. I'll do it. Uh, it's a natural one. So <laughs> I don't I, think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think not. After all that. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, Jesus. Um, all right, so crit fail. Yep, um, so Rexus? Rexus? Xerxes, <laughs> you are up. Okay. Um, despite my brother's taunts, <laughs> I will beat on her twice more with this <laughs> foam hammer and try to connect one of these. All right, so come at me, dude. <laughs> Fifteen. It hits. Ah, oh, it's yeah. about time. Just hits. That's nine, and nine. one more time for nope. Thirteen. Uh, does not hit. Right. One time with this unwieldy foam hammer. <laughs> so you swing a second time, trying to hit her in the ribs, which lands. She sort of shifts to the side with the force of the blow. Um, but as you swing back around, you whiff with the second one. Whiffs. Yeah. Anything else from you? No. Did you do anything else with those muscles other than swing an axe? That's what muscles are for. And it's a hammer. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I've never used one of these axe things before. I only know fists. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle um, wizards cast fists. Oh, That's man. what I do. All right. Well, uh, before Rexus can throw in another sort of witty, <laughs> witty retort, uh, witty, witty retort. Um, there's a tremor. The ground shifting under your feet for oh, a moment. Shit. It's like a single uh, feeling. Um, Earthquake. Earthquake. You know what that's like. Okay, we um, need to go to the doors and stand in the window. Uh, drop cover and hold on. Wait, no. In the background and from far away across the water at the hangar, you hear a wailing noise. Sirens going off. You'd hope to never hear this sound, especially not here. While you've been in combat before, this particular sound going off at this facility sends a spike of dread singing up your spine. You wait for the sirens to echo through the training facility, but it doesn't happen. Instead, after a moment's breath, all of the lights shut off all at once. You're in darkness for a moment. Two moments. And then the shuddering hum of the generators kicks in, and emergency lighting fills the area. You still hear the sirens going off in the distance. From outside of your room comes a low, muffled sound of voices talking and shouting. Noise. What do you do? Uh, this is what we've been training for. I'm ready, are you two? Uh, I look at my foam <laughs> hammer and I toss it away. I gotta get my real one. <laughs> yeah, I need to like, can I Can I pause and listen and like hear like, are there still people outside? Is there something else like around? Like what, what can I pick up? Mm -hmm. You move over to the sliding door to this room. It's sort of set into a track and secured by a metal lock off to the side. You press your ear against it, listening to the sounds beyond the door. But even as you're listening, you can hear the voices get quieter and less distinct. You're listening harder and harder, and you pick up the strange clicking noise. And as you're trying to get a better understanding of what that noise is, Suddenly something slams into the wall um, that you're pressed up against. A scraping noise as something heavy and hard barrels into the door that you're listening to and knocks it off of its hinges, leaving a small gap between the door and, and its jam. Looking beyond, you can see light pouring in as a shadow sort of moves indistinctly beyond it. And then there's another scraping noise as whatever is in the hallway slams up against the opposite wall. You can sort of hear the metal and the plaster splintering underneath the weight of this thing. You're quiet for a moment as you hear it click, 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 clicking down the hallway. 
Oh, shit. Guys, I think we're under attack. Yeah, um, we gotta go. Yeah, we, yeah. This is this is what we've been training for. We we have to take care of this. <laughs> I know you said that, but <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, are there any other exits in this room, or is it just that one? I'll roll an investigation check. Oh, that's very good. That's um, real good. <laughs> uh, twenty-two. Okay. Um, that's the primary exit uh, to this room. Uh, there's not really windows. This is a centrally located. Uh, Room, sorry, my dog is being a dog. Hello. <laughs> um, Hi, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my guys. I love you so. Um, yeah, yes, that seems to be the, the main exit from this room. Okay. So, ambush? Sarah, open the door, open the door. Ambush yes, or ambush. quietly? Can I can I pause and listen and see if I can hear like if the creature is still outside or moving around? Yep, absolutely. You're already over by the door. Okay. Um. So there's a gap in the door, so you can hear it very well. Okay. My passive perception is twelve. Okay, but you are <laughs> yeah. you're, you're but I'm already there. in the hallway. You're okay. Just hidden. Okay. Um, it's silent for a second, and then you hear the the spiny legs of whatever is out the hallway. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, click clacking away. From your experience with the facility, you know that this creature was coming vaguely from the entrance. Uh, you're on the first floor, and from your knowledge, you know that this facility is divided up into three floors. Okay. The first floor has security, this training facility, a cafeteria, offices, conference rooms, things like that. Um, the basement contains the bunks where all uh, necessary staff, as well as you all, uh, live. Some other people live off site in the local city, but a lot of people do live down in the bunk. But, but like in general, there aren't a huge number of personnel on this base. Like it's... There's, there's a decent number. There's... But we're just like, we're sort of almost the only combat people that exactly. are here. Exactly, okay. but, but there do need to be engineers on hand uh, to run the hangar. Uh, okay. And so people that work over there live here, sort of commute across the bridge and work in that location. Okay. Um, a few other people have offices on the top floor, uh, and there's also a, a very, like, a light tram that connects this building and uh, the hangar. Okay. So people don't have to walk across the bridge. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. All right. All right, Are so you? We... I'm over at the door, and I go, I go, guys, I think, I think it went down the hallway. Um, we might be able to sneak up on it and ambush it. Um, I'm not very good at that. Well, do you want me to go ahead? Not alone. If you want to fight it by well, yourself, we yeah. Could, we could go together. I can lead the way if you want. Uh, help, help me get this door open. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. We'd like to get this door open. Yeah. We want to. We want to as quietly. Quiet, as quietly as possible. Uh, roll an athletics check with advantage since uh, you're being helped. Okay. Okay. I should have done that. I rolled uh, sixteen. Uh, okay, yeah. Xersus, you brace your hands against the door um, as Hasira grabs it and sort of wrenches it back onto the track. Uh, you remember to sort of tap the electronic lock by the, the door, which allows it to disengage smoothly. Uh, and yeah, you open the door. Okay. Cool. All right. I think we're good. Should we? So it went, it came from this direction. I sort of point like from the hall and I point in the direction where I think it's, it is moved. Absolutely. From what I could hear. All right. We gotta go get this thing. Yeah, I All agree. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak on out and like just go crouch and like into like a sneaky defensive mode and begin moving down the hallway. Sounds good. Yeah. All of you, uh, please roll. I will subjects. be the last. <laughs> okay. I will tiptoe in my armor. <laughs> uh, stealth check. You said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Twenty five. Okay. Um, 15. Okay. Nine. Okay. Uh, okay. Nine. Um, <laughs> begin making your way quietly in the direction that you think the creature went. The hallway only dimly lit by the emergency lighting. The walls are torn with deep gashes on both sides um, from where this, this thing tore into them. You can see sort of a deep dent and almost a, a rip in the door that you just opened. You see also that the floor is punctured, deep tears in the carpet, as if this thing was moving on spiny legs. Ugh. 
Mm. Um, you make your way to the end of the hallway, and as you turn the corner, you see it standing in the middle of the cafeteria and weaving slowly and methodically through the tables. You all have seen one of these before, and it is immediately recognizable as a render. A small one, but a render nonetheless. But having seen them before doesn't take away from the horror of these creatures. Being immune to them doesn't mean that they are less confounding and disturbing to look at. They look almost like a graphical glitch, a strange tearing in space like a model that didn't load correctly. You can see their features drift across their faceted face, their spiny legs shooting out in odd directions as it carries itself across the cafeteria. So it looks like a like a like a Maya glitch. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, okay. Like parts of it are almost like doing that yeah, strange like twitching, fidgeting, twitchy thing. Yeah. 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 Um, no, it, it looks exactly broken like broken GIF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, but and it doesn't have like a. Does it have any sort of like recognizable anatomy other than legs? Like it doesn't have a mouth or a face or anything, right? It doesn't, but it looks almost bug-like. Okay. Um, and part of that may just be the fact that the things that are carrying it are these spine-like protrusions coming out of its, like its underbelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but it, it resembles more like a, like a bug or a scorpion than it does anything Ooh. else. Yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem to have seen you. It doesn't, yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't, noticed, it hasn't us. noticed us. Okay. Um, and I start like, <laughs> for the, for the sake of audio <laughs> format. Just getting close. I yeah. I, uh, I motion. Get in close. And get in close. The pincer move. move. Do you want me? Okay. Okay. We're yeah. gonna, so we'll flank it and yep. come in. Maybe um, Rexus and I flank, and you come up from the middle. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Um, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So we so... split apart, mm -hmm. and um. Uh, yeah, Rexus and I will, will each yeah. take a flank and you'll come I'll up from dash behind. up when they get close. Alright. <laughs> um, who, who is planning on attacking first? And also, so you say you're flanking, um, and just so I picture it properly, uh, there's the creature in the middle of, like, two tables on either side. Like, it's in a central aisle and mm -hmm. there's aisles on the outside. Yeah. Yep. Who is taking the central aisle? Who is taking the outside aisles? I am in the central aisle. Okay. I guess I'll take the right side. And I'll get the left. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. You being in the central aisle, are you going planning on attacking first? No, because I'm loud, so I was okay. going to attack. I was going to sprint up after somebody else attacked. And actually, since since I'm pretty like stealthy, I was gonna move up and just like and start and and see if I can sweep under its legs and try and like take it down. Okay. Um, since you basically will be running at it while you two are following behind, I'm gonna ask you to make one more stealth check. Okay. Solo stealth check for this. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> see if you get a surprise round. Um, 17. Good enough. All okay. right. <laughs> um, so you begin sort of quietly easing your way into the cafeteria. It's making noise, scraping against the floor and knocking into tables, which is good because it obscures your approach. Um, you take the center aisle, you take the, the far aisle, and you come sprinting up quietly right up next to it. And you get a surprise attack. All Go right. Um, so I'm going to uh, make two attacks against this thing. Okay. All right. Let's go. Roll first attack. Ooh, it's a natural 19. Ooh, that's good. Um, let's get it. Plus six. So yeah, that's a lot. Okay. Um, and then the second <laughs> that's attack. A number. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a natural 20. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. It's a good start. So for this first attack, I'm gonna roll. The non crit, and you roll the damage for that. Um, what's a six? Uh, plus three, um, so nine okay. points of damage. Um, and then for the second attack, I'm going to let's see, roll that again five, and then double the dice, right? Yes, for a crit. Okay, so it's ten plus three, thirteen. Okay, um, and for that second hit on the crit. Um, I'm gonna spend a key point because I want to see if, like I said, I came up to try and sweep the legs. Um, I'm gonna try and, um, oh wait, I don't know if I can do that because I didn't do flurry of blows. Hold on a second. Do, 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 do. No, but I'm gonna make it a stunning strike. I'm gonna see if I can stun it on that, on that third, that second hit. Okay. Um, mark that off. Okay. So it has to make uh, a con save. That would be a 13. Oh, it just 
barely makes it. Okay. Aww. DC 13. I will say, you get the feeling that that's probably okay. As you sweep its legs out from under it, it's, you know, appendages splinter. Um, mm. You are able to knock these mm. not only out from under it, but off it entirely, and they sort of yeah. seem to sputter out into space. What? Um, it collapses to the ground uh, and goes prone. It's still alive, but you really hurt Damn. it, and it didn't seem to be quite as sturdy as you expected. Not as sturdy as the ones you've seen before. Okay. Hmm. Do I get a bonus action on uh, this? Yeah. I mean, so, okay. Spent it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use my bonus action to, um, since I took the attack action, I'm going to attack one more time. So, ooh, that's pretty good. See, and is it with advantage because it's prone now? Or? Oh, because it, it be. so it's now prone? Oh, yeah, you're right. Roll that again. Uh, good thing, well, the first one was pretty good. So, uh, 21. Okay, Yeah. it hits. Okay. Uh, six points of damage? Yeah. Yes. Um, and I'm not going to spend anything on that. I'm just going to hit it. That's so, fine. Yeah. You Bye. hit it and... <laughs> You twist your fist on the impact, and it almost warps around your fist. Um, this thing just shudders to stillness, and it's down. Leave a piece for us. Is that it? it it's not moving or anything? Doesn't seem to be. Is it still glitching? It It's still hard to look at. It doesn't, it's not doing the, the shifting, like, and twitching. Okay. But there is parts of it that still seem to be, like, not quite fixed into place. Okay. And like I said, its form does not seem to be moving. <sighs> it seems to be down. <sighs> okay. Nicely done. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That, whoa. <laughs> uh, and I, like, can't really, like, <laughs> look at it. Sorry I didn't save anything. <laughs> Sorry I didn't save any for you, but... It's okay. I'll get the next one. Now that combat is over, you look around the room and you see that the door to the kitchen is slightly propped open because there's a body blocking it. Looking around the room, it's not the only one. Several bodies have just fallen in place. It just came... It, like, immune. walked through and they just all fell. Yeah. Can I can I inspect any of the bodies and see if anybody is like okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, make an investigation check. Okay. Or maybe, maybe a medicine check. Make a medicine yeah. check. Medicine check. <laughs> yeah. Mm, still not great. Um. Seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. You walk over to um one of the bodies that's it seems like they almost went to cower behind um a one of the, the tables and it has the very distinct look of a person who's seen a render. Their eyes bloodshot and wide and fixed. And the person is dead. Looking at the others, it seems like they've all succumbed to the same ailment. Shit. Can I find a piece of one of the legs that broke off? Absolutely. Just like a little... You can search for it. I will say when the legs were broken off, some of them did kind of sputter into nothingness. Okay, um, I'll but look for one. Go ahead and make like a... Let's just do investigation to see if you okay. one. 12. Okay. Um, you can find like a piece. I just want like a shard. Yeah, yeah. It, it almost looks like a, like a rock and it's smooth to the touch. It almost resembles obsidian. Is it hard to look at? A little bit. Cool. Um, but there's not... Because it's small, it doesn't have the same drifting, strange same intensity. appearance to it. But yeah, it's it's a okay. little tuck, off-putting. Tuck that in the in the pocket. Okay. Um. So, kind of a kind of a not off-topic question, but how do you get around? Are there key cards in the building? Um, sort of, yes, yeah. you all have key cards. In fact, okay. they're built into um, okay. like your suits. Um, you put your hand up. Okay. Kind of. Would I would I recognize anybody that has a higher clearance than me in the area? <laughs> Love it. Um, <laughs> Any one of those bureaucrats from the offices upstairs? Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to give it to you. That's a great question. <laughs> yes. You look over at the, the person who is who is hiding by, behind the desk that you were looking at, mm -hmm. um, and you recognize them as um, one of the, the head engineers that works at the hangar. Uh, they usually don't go to the hangar directly. They do a lot of their, their management here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yes, this is somebody who would have access to some of the offices upstairs that you might not normally go to. 
Um, cool. Yeah, I'll go over and um, you know sort of lay him down, maybe close his eyes, and then then loot his body. Chop, for chop his arm cards. off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's key cards, not a not a thumbprint. Um, like a watch. Yeah. <laughs> Is there like a kitchen area further back in here? Yes. Um, uh, I'm gonna head in that direction and see if there's any any people in there or if there's another creature. I just want to start like. Okay. I want to start looking around as well. Okay. Yeah. You head in that direction and looking around, it looks like they had started doing some of the prep work for dinner for that day, but there aren't any other people in the kitchen. And it, the power's still down, or like we still have a generator running. Like, okay. Um, what you power. do notice, um, and this is something that you would not have been aware of, uh, is that in the back of the kitchen uh, is a loading bay door, mm. as well as a, an exit. Is it open or is it just it's, it's just there? Yeah, okay. But, but it's there. Okay. Um, with that in mind, you know of three ways to get out of this facility. The first is the front door where the monster came from. The second is the tram on the second floor, and the third would be this loading bay slash exit. Um. I want to, if I can, quietly. I want to like see if I can go out through the door and like scan around outside and see if there's any evidence of like, if is this an invasion happening? Are there more <laughs> creatures coming? Like what's the state of things outside? I want to like see if I can poke my head out and take a look. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you go over to the door. It has one of the, the same electronic locks that the um, gym had, uh, but you activate it, unlock it and uh, poke your head out. What you see beyond is a covered parking area. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and from your experience with the building, it seems like it's at the back of um, the buildings on this island. Mm -hmm. In here, there's not only uh, like transport trucks for goods and provisions, but there's also um, a few like, like military vehicles as well as some just personnel parking. You look around, but because it's covered, you can't, you can't see out mm. beyond it. Okay. So yeah, it's like, sort of underneath yeah okay like a parking garage almost parking yeah garage. yeah okay um is there go ahead no go ahead go ahead i've been doing stuff so <laughs> yeah is there an emergency plan <laughs> like we've been drilled in this facility for a while is there somewhere we are supposed to go so it would generally be the the nearest exit um the mostly the tram would not be recommended there's also um like Oh, I guess you would know of this. There's there's basement exits from the bunker if something happens while like while you guys are in the barracks. Uh -huh. Um, but mostly it's the the front exit. Well, let's let's, re let's regroup. Should, <laughs> I think we should get higher up and we can see, maybe maybe see if the uh, office is upstairs. You think we should go upstairs? There. I think so. And check. Do we, we either do that or we or we head out through the front and we we plan to group up from there. I don't know. I yeah. Should we make it to the hangar? Well, obviously we we end up. I there. think ultimately we need to he head over to the hangar, but if we want to clipping noise in the uh -huh. distance. Oh shit! There's more of them. Which distance? It's coming down the, the hall from the, the entrance. Okay. Basically the same route. That we'll the probably get, we should probably close off the front entrance and see what's going on out there because they're coming in through there. I can't. Well, see, I couldn't see anything from the loading dock. Okay, we need to deal with this first. Deal with what first? <laughs> Click, click, click. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. She'll just, she'll handle it. <laughs> I don't want a chance. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we'll whip back around and yeah. turn towards where it's... Ambushed by the door? Yeah. Ambushed by the door. Um, does anybody you... want to draw it out? Do you mean the door to the kitchen? Or uh, door, the, the, door, door to the cafeteria. Oh, cafeteria, right. Door to the cafeteria. Oh, we're since now. We hear... oh, yeah, right, we're in the kitchen. We're, we're, right. we're okay. in the kitchen right now. Yeah, you can yeah. hear it coming down the hall. It's loud and it makes sort of like a tearing noise, but... I think we should take this other one out and then we yeah. should maybe check the entrance and see what it looks like up there because right. they're probably getting in all right yeah agreed okay so i'm gonna move like up towards um the door into the yeah. kitchen okay all uh, right sorry into the cafeteria i know can we can stand we by on either side of the door and then he'll and then xersis will uh try and draw it in maybe so it wasn't a door that you came through into oh. the cafeteria. Oh, right, 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 right. Open hallway. There doorway. is a blind turn. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Like, you can. You can. Yeah. I just mean, want to be sure, clear mm -hmm. that it's not going to like wait on the other side of a door. It's a hallway. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can brace on either side. Yeah, we yeah. can. Yeah, we can do that. And I'll stand ten feet back in the middle. Yeah. See if you can call it in. Sure. You all run out towards it, um, and 
get sort of steadied, as pretty much immediately it comes around the corner. <laughs> it, like, yeah, <laughs> we give it to you, but, but it was already sort of coming this way. Viciously um, mock it. Okay, this time you don't get a surprise round because okay. no. as you're you're getting into position is as it's coming around the corner. Okay. So everybody roll initiative. All right. Yes. Let's go. Nice. Ooh. Better than before. Same here. All right. What'd you get? Um, I just added it up. Uh, 22. All right. 22. Woo! 18. Okay. It also got 22. Oh, wow! It doesn't even matter! (laughs) (laughs) Three-way tie. Um, (laughs) Um, do we do do a roll-off? Let's do a roll-off. Yeah, Yeah. the three of us roll-off. And Zersus is last. Do I add my initiative to my roll? Like, what do I do? Are we just just a flat, flat, yeah? D twenty roll. Yeah. All right. Well, I got a seven. Okay. Seventeen. Okay, got an eighteen. So. (gasps) Damn it! (laughs) Jeez. All right. Well, the render goes first. Okay. Here we go. Um. So then you're, (laughs) you and I are kind of still gonna be, Mm -hmm. together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the render rears back at seeing you. It's sort of like twitching in place as it suddenly realizes that. There's a threat in the room. It also seems to pause for a quarter of a second, waiting for a reaction in you all that doesn't come. Waiting Uh, for us to uh, die. Exactly. (laughs) Uh, Panicked, it flails out at, I guess, um, Rexus, are you closest to it? No, I guess I would be at this point. Okay. It flails out at you, Rexus, um, and it makes three attacks with its spiny legs. Oh boy. Uh, First is a 16. That hits. Okay, that's one. I'm just gonna roll all of them at once. The second is a, is a five, so nope. that misses. Uh, and the third one is a and an eighteen. That is so, so two, two hits. Three. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Is it so fantastic? That is gonna be. <laughs> uh, well, is it though? <laughs> at least this one's putting up some sort of effort. Uh, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the first one, uh, it sort of spikes forward with one of its uh, legs, catching you in the arm for five damage. And the second um, sort of swings around uh, as you dodge its um, sort of one of its other attacks and hits for four. Okay. It again makes that strange mental screeching noise uh. as it sort of scuttles up into the midst of you and mm-hmm. considers what it's going to do next and instead just stands in place. Okay. Yeah. So it's in melee? Yep, it's in melee. It's your turn? All right, yeah, it's you and I. Oh, yeah. Um, but you just got hit, so I'll let you Yeah, you let go. me go first? Yeah. Okay. Do it. Do it. What am I going to do? Actually, um, I'm going to uh, use my use one of my um, class abilities, Misty Escape. Um, I should have done that actually when I was hit. <laughs> um, apologies. So I turn <laughs> invisible and move 60 feet um, upon being hit. I okay. use that as a reaction. Um, and so I'm going to move out of melee range and sort of um, back behind my brother. Okay. And sort of in the back of the kitchen. Um, Keep you uh, safe. You guys are in the cafeteria. Yeah, we're just cafeteria. oh cafeteria, cafeteria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah shoot. <laughs> so it's a large space. There's yeah. not really like there's places to hide. But yeah, no, not between he's hiding behind me. Yeah, yeah the the large <laughs> putting <laughs> putting the so. you know large hunk of meat and metal between <laughs> between me and the thing that <laughs> I do what I can <laughs> with so what that I'm was given. Your reaction to its hit. Yeah, that was my reaction. Yeah, so it is now my turn, and then. Cool. Uh, and so, um, sort of swinging around in reaction to that and reappearing, and I'm going to stick both my hands out and Eldritch Blast it. Okay. Yeah. Roll the hit. Corner stuff. Uh, 15? That does not hit. Ooh. Oof. Yikes. You get another one. Uh, okay. Oh, so, yeah, that, that was the that was the no, right I hand. Lied. I'm sorry. Yes, it does hit. Okay. It exactly hits. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, 24. Okay, that also. All right, so rolling damage. Um, first beam does six damage. Okay. Second beam does eight damage. Okay. And so they both, yeah, they both hit it square. Wait, do they do a little more or no? Uh, 1d10. Do you add, you don't add nope. anything to it? Nope. Okay, cool. I mean, <laughs> 1d10 for a cantrip is... Uh, that's pretty legit. Yeah, that's fair. Good will to make it better. Fucking ridiculous. Um, you reach out towards it um, and... Your psionic training kind of comes to the, the fore um, as this dark eldritch beam blasts into its side. It it seems to be knocked back, slamming into um, the, the corner of the wall. And if it had eyes, it would be looking at you. <laughs> Instead, it just seems to be pressing up against the wall and... 
maybe fear, maybe just gut reaction. <laughs> um, cool. And from that hit, I see that as like my opening. Go for it. Oh, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to make two attacks. Um, what's that? 12? Oh, that does not hit. Mm-hmm. I think so. And second attack. Oh, that does hit. Um, that is 22? Yeah, that definitely hits. Okay, cool. Um, and then for that one, uh, let's see, I do eight points of damage. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use, let's see, um, I'm going to use my bonus action to hit it uh, one more time. Okay, it looks like it's barely holding on. Really? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Um, Give me one chance. Oh. <laughs> I might miss. I miss. Oh, so. man. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, so. your first hit fractures it, and pieces of it sort of fly off. It seems to, to crumble underneath itself, still pressing up against the wall and its legs scraping against the floor, but kind of the structural integrity of this thing seems to be wavering. Uh, but unfortunately, it rears back as you punch again and you miss. Okay. You are up. I'm going to run forward, do a little jump, and slam down on it with my Warhammer. Okay. Nice. Uh, the, the over your head attack. And I miss it heartily no! with a nine. All right, uh, you leap. There's like a moment where you're frozen in midair epically. But then you just like I'm just misjudge. short. I'm just yeah, short. Yeah, it didn't even move. You just misjudged. It's okay. Now I am in melee, so I'll just whack them all. <laughs> For 20. That hit. Yeah. There you go. And it's seven. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> you get up into melee, slam the hammer against its insect-like head, and it just smushes against the wall. Ooh. <laughs> the thing collapses underneath <laughs> its weight and goes still. Ugh. <sighs> Shit, these things are coming in. We should I feel probably... like they're easier than they used to be. <laughs> used to be? Well, that means we got we got stronger. We got better. Uh, we've been training, yes. Yeah, we've been, we've right. been improving maybe they're, maybe they're young. Maybe they're they're fresh from wherever they come from. Well, we need to see where they're coming from because they're getting in and just taking people out in this base. So, so let's, yes, let's close off the front door. Let's go. Yeah, so we'll head out from the kitchen, uh, the cafeteria, like in the direction of the entrance. Back okay. up the hallway. Yeah, back up the hallway. Absolutely. You go back uh, to the hallway that you originally came from, um, the gem off to your left side, uh, and make your way past offices and conference rooms until you reach the front area. Is there any evidence of other people that have like dropped like flies along the way? There is. Yeah. In fact, it seems like somebody, in fact, two people tried to come and contact you because you see their forms lying uh, near the gym as you pass. You sort of step over them uh, as you move towards the entrance. I'm assuming you're being stealthy. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and roll a stealth check. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's not bad. Not the worst. Uh, natural 20. Okay. Uh, right, so yeah. 20, 26, yeah. Oh, was yours? 12. Okay, yeah, all right, you guys are fine. Making your way as quietly as you can, acknowledging the people who have fallen along the way, but doing your best to keep yourselves quiet. You sort of hide behind a potted plant um, on, <laughs> in this hallway near the entrance and look out. Now, the entrance has a fairly large security checkpoint. It has two offices on either side, um, glass doors, but also metal detectors and like a kind of barriers between where you are and the front door. You can see over them, but they're meant to stop people from just rushing. Um, Unfortunately, those barriers have been crushed and set aside and your gut kind of sinks a little bit as you look out and realize that there are four of these creatures standing in this area and beyond looking out towards the bridge, there's probably at least six more just within sight. Shit. Upstairs. (laughs) Tram time. We we gotta get to our... Upstairs, yeah. We have to make it to the hangar. Yeah, we have to make it to the hangar. You can see the the sort of late uh, afternoon, early evening light pouring in. Everything's sort of gold um, out across the the bay. And there's no way to like, to put any sort of barricades or anything in the front of the entrance without attracting their attention. Like they're like, they are inside Um, at least four of them. You (laughs) may be able to do it if you like to block out the ones that are outside, but you're definitely going to have to deal deal with four. In fact, you're pretty close to them. Like you're, you're stealth, you're hidden behind this plant, but 
we could take him out. You want to head up? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we won't engage. As you're about to turn away idea. from yeah, the, uh, the front entrance, you see that the, the gold of the at late afternoon light cuts off for a moment. It gets dark, and then it gets light again. Do we know if these creatures come by means of, like, ships? Like, do they get dropped in? Do do we know? They Um, appear suddenly out of just thin air. Jeez. In the same way that its leg dissolved into space. They just sort of dissolve. dissolve. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Fuck. That wasn't good, whatever that just was. Um, we need to go. Yeah, we go. need to go. Oh, hopefully the tram is even working so with the generator power. You can walk on the tracks if it's not. That's true. Okay. The ground tremors again, and you hear a screeching, tearing, booming noise from outside. You can't see anything. There doesn't seem to be, like, anything within your sight line, but something outside maybe just we, got crushed. Maybe we can get a view when we hit go upstairs, yeah. too. Yeah. So do we know where to get to the uh, second floor? Absolutely. Okay. There's there's an elevator, um, like, dock, but there's also stairs. Okay. Um, in fact, one of the stairwells is right next to where you are right cool. now. It's so. probably safer than the elevator. Yeah. No. <laughs> probably, I think. In the yeah. event of fire or alien invasion, do not take the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So you make your way... Um, sort of across the hallway over to the the stairwell, ease it open, glancing over at the the creatures, but they still don't seem to see you. And you get into the the stairwell and close the door. It's very dark in the stairwell. Yes, there's still emergency lighting, but it doesn't seem to to break the darkness in here the same way it did outside. Mm -hmm. Um, But there's stairs going up and down. So if you want to climb, you can. Yeah, we'll head on up. Yes, we'll go up. Yeah, we'll head upstairs. Okay. You make your way upstairs find the the door out of the stairwell, and exit. You find yourself in what looks like a pretty standard office building. There are uh, cubicles, but there's also offices uh, along the line. You also know that there's like a decent little like coffee cart that's uh, positioned over by the tram. (laughs) Are are there windows up here? Um, Not where you are, but if you, let's see. Basically, if you turn a corner, it's a mirror of where you were. So you were across from the entrance. So okay. if you turn the uh, the hallway corner, you'll see they're basically the equivalent of the entrance. And that's also where the tram is. Okay. Yeah, yeah I guess we want to head right. that, that direction. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to, like, look outside. I want to see, like... Let's do a little, little yeah. Scooby-Doo peek around okay. the corner. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're, in, you're in, like, a, hall of, a hallway of offices. But okay. if you do that, you'll be over. Okay, Perfect. so uh, you... Move over to the the corner of this hallway and poke your head out. What you see before you, you've taken the tram many times. Um, It tends to be just the easier way to to cross the bridge and it's very, very frequented. Um, It has a little docking station inside. Um, There's a control booth over to the the far right from where you are, basically across the the way, Um, and a wall of windows um, looking out over the, the coast. Except the wall of windows is actually completely smashed up here. Something has torn its way through. And even the ceiling is dented back and up um, as if something punctured up into the ceiling before looking at the ground, tearing its way through this area as well. You can see over by the, the control booth that the door is thrown just off of its hinges. It seems to be um, resting on, on the basically the ground. And you do see, again, bodies all over the place here. Um, over by their, their cubicles, some seem to have like come out into the hallway before they collapsed in place. Uh, you can't see into the, the control room, but you do hear something groaning and creaking. But to your point, looking out beyond the stationary uh, tram and looking up at the sky, you sort of feel the pit of your stomach drop out. Because obscuring the horizon is the largest render you've ever seen. In fact, the largest render ever recorded. This kaiju-like creature. Oh boy. Oh shit. Cast a shadow over the entire hangar um, and a lot of the bridge connecting um, you to the hangar. It is 
monolithic, obsidian-like, its face faceted and eyeless, and it's blocking a lot of the sun. It doesn't seem to be moving all that much. It seems to shift a little bit side to side, um, but it seems to just be standing still, overlooking the the terror beneath it. And has there any been have there been any sightings of this size? Before? Not like this. Never like this. What? The it, largest creature Rinder you've ever seen was probably like the size of a large bus. Um, and actually looking down at the bridge, you see a few creatures just like that. Um, the smaller scorpion-like creatures that have been tearing through the, um, the training facility look almost like small scouts in comparison to the hulking things that are dominating the, the bridge. And so this huge, like, kaiju render, how far away is it, would you say? It's probably, I'm going to say a half mile out from the hangar, out in the ocean. In the ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just Mm -hmm. looming. Okay. Well. Shit, guys. (laughs) This is really bad. Why are they here? We're in the middle of nowhere. (laughs) This is not nowhere. (laughs) Uh, Obviously, obviously they've learned about us, so. They've come to take care of the problem. Right in the middle of nowhere. Do I do we know like if they're intelligent at all? Like can they hunt people down? Can they discern people that are resistant to them? And like like do we know of anything like that? It's hard to tell. They're intelligent enough to send scouts. Um but beyond that There hasn't been any like study of them. Much. There's been as much study as there can be, but honestly, other than the ones um, people are able to kill, they don't stick around for very long. They drop in, do their thing, and disappear. Um, I see. So. <sighs> hmm. Shit. Well. They do occasionally seem to target highly populated areas, um, but they didn't start there, so that shows some intelligence. They started where they wouldn't be noticed. But this wouldn't necessarily be a like a highly populated area that we're, we're off in. the coast from a city. We're just we're, off the coast from the city. Yeah. Okay, so like like Channel Islands off of L.A. Like not that far, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not like the the bridge um, connecting uh, the hangar and the training facility to the mainland doesn't like feed directly into Main Street of a city, but like it, it's, right. it It's near enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. We, Okay, cool. So we're not actually in the middle of nowhere. We're just like, we're in a separate place from, okay. Shit. Well, where to? I don't know. I guess we need still need to get to the hangar, but. Uh, I guess we need to generate some kind of distraction. Distract what? The creatures, the. As many of them as, as many of them as we can. Let's see if we can call the tram. The tram car is it's here, here. Mm-hmm. and how the tram works is it's an elevated rail that runs like a story and a half above yeah. the, the road. So there's a rail that connects here to the, the hangar that you technically could move across, but might not be ideal. You also could potentially get the, the tram working. Here's the thing though, if the tram's moving, that might be a distraction. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. You mean send the tram. Oh, send, it over. Oh, send the empty tram. Send the empty tram and then- See what they do about that. See if it clears the... If they follow it, and then we can... Clears the way downstairs. Move along. Uh-oh. Is this... Is the building we're in, is it only administrative? Or, I mean, we we have the key to the engineer's office. I'm wondering if we can find some weapons or other goodies. I'm thinking something to you make the weapons. train explode. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. We do know that over in... Is it in the hangar is where the... The oh. supposed weapon is? Yeah, there, okay. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you know, if you get to the hangar, you will have access to what you typically use to fight render. Our vehicles and Yeah, you don't stuff. usually yeah. write fight render like on the ground. Okay. Okay, cool. So we definitely need to be getting over there. Yeah. Um, we could check in like one of the engineers' rooms and see if we can Find like something. wire up the tram Prototype or something. Or, yeah. Yeah. That way but we that's can... that's probably not here. That's probably no, in the hangar. No, it'd be in the hangar. We could risk it on the tram. <laughs> You mean ride the tram? Yeah. And see what happens? <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to get attacked if we ride the tram. We might get attacked if we stay here. Well, yeah, true. And on that note, you do uh. still hear a noise coming from the, the control room. Shit. That's what we, we should need probably to deal with that first. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of this thing before, before we can even discussion. control the tram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to... St- I'm gonna like start stealthing over in the direction of like where the noise is coming from. Okay. Yeah. Um, you dart from your sort of cover in this hallway over to the tram itself, pressing up against the cart and looking across the way over at the, the control room. 
Again, the door's off its uh, hinges. You see, much to your dismay, um, the body of uh, one of the, the engineers that works in this wing sort of crumpled up against the far wall inside the control room. It's dark in there, uh, but it does seem to have some power going on. You can see um, just like the, a dim blue uh, like light coming off of something from that room. Uh, but you also see a shadow that passes in front of that light once, twice. There's something big in there. Um. I'm going to wave to everybody and like turn and be like, guys, I'm going to need backup on this one. And I want to... I'll come up. <laughs> Can't guarantee it'll be quiet. I'm going to take a few <laughs> steps back. How far is it from me right now? You can't see it, can you? I can't really see. I know that it's in there, though. Like It's probably 35 feet. Between, like, because there's the tram and then the the rest of the space and then the room. So, like, you can't see. I'm talking about your distance to the the control room. It's about 35 feet. Okay. But it's inside still. Yeah, so it's mm-hmm. more than that. You don't see oh, shit, it. Oh, shit. Don't, I probably don't no. want to do this that I'm going to do. So, since it's an electrical control room, Victor's shaking his head. <laughs> um we need to get in there. I have fists. Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I have fists. <laughs> I'm gonna get on in there, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I can like, like make some hits at it. Yeah. yeah. It's a ways off. Is it that far like you need away? To get over to the control room. I need to get yeah. over. Yeah. The door oh. to the control room is 35 feet. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 I see. I'm not that close to it. Okay. You could probably get to yeah. the wall of that. Oh, that I room. Can, I definitely can. I can yeah. move 45 feet. Okay. Um, so you can do that if you want. I mean, like. You'll get inside the room. We'll be a second behind. Uh, <laughs> Maybe wait at the door and bring yeah, up an action I'll do for that. anything that comes out. Yeah. And so then if we make noise coming over. That's actually a great idea. I think will. I'm going to move over to the door and I'm going to ready like an attack. Okay, yeah. so you brace up against the, the door. Um, I'm going to ask you to make one again because you, you keep getting farther ahead of everyone. I know. Make another stealth check. All right. Um, 16. Okay. Um, you press up against the um, the wall, sort of sidestepping the, the collapsed door, and you can hear something in there. It seems to be not really, like, it's like turning in place, something large and almost, like, to the dimensions of the room, but it's not knocking into anything. You can see that, you know, in the doorway, it's crushed its way through, but it doesn't seem to be doing much in there. It's like it almost got stuck. It's turning in place. <laughs> Weird. Okay. I'll tiptoe my way up as best I can after. No. Okay. And I'll follow uh, uh, Xerxes. Still just turning in place. Still just turning. Weird. Um, it really just seems like it, it like it got on a path it wasn't supposed to, and so it's just here now. That's so weird. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, and it doesn't notice any of us, like, over Why here. Not? Okay. You want to poke an eye in? Yeah. You want me to look? Because I could also just rush in and try and take this thing out. It, it's not moving. Maybe take a look first. Take okay. a look. Yeah, I'm gonna poke in and and see if and scope it out and see what the deal is, like what's happening. You peek around the the corner of the the door jam, and it seems to be just performing three movements. It shifts. It lifts its legs. It turns a little bit. It goes still. It shifts, it lifts its leg, it turns a little bit, it goes still. It's a it, ju- it seems Roomba. like it broke, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a broken Roomba. <laughs> it is slowly, as you watch it, shifting a little more. It's like it, it's it's in the slowest way possible making a 360 turn, but it's taking its time. Can I, um, is there anything in the room that looks like, like it interacted with that, that made this happen? Did it like, did it get electrocuted? Did it like, so... The odd thing is it doesn't seem to have bumped into any of the walls in here. It just got in this room and went still. It hasn't wrecked um, any of the, the space. It, yeah, it just seems like it's kind of um, stuck. Make, making a 45 I'm going point to turn. actually yeah, cast- it is, I'm, it is doing exactly yeah. that. <laughs> I am actually going to cast a spell. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast oh, Enthrall on it. Go for it. Um, Ooh. So the description that yeah, I have. I was about to say, can you please explain? Um, enchantment casts one action, range sixty feet, duration one minute. Component verbal somatic. <laughs> Any creature wisdom save, um, uh, advantage of fighting or disadvantage perception checks for all, all excluding you, and that is 
Wait, it's, it's like charm person, but for non-humanoids. I believe that's what it. No. Is it like no? friends? No, for it focuses on oh, you. Oh, it focuses, it focuses on, me. on you, and it has disadvantage to see anybody else. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, I totally misread that. Oh, I see. So let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. That does not seem like a good spell to well, cast. You know. <laughs> I mean, you if can, you want, yeah. if you want to be seen, <laughs> I'd like to not be seen um, at the moment. Well, I can cast darkness. <laughs> Ooh. Um, what I will do. It doesn't seem to notice us, right? Not yet. It's. It seems to like. At least from its position, it hasn't seemed to notice you. Okay. Should I just go? Um. Uh... I assume you haven't come into the room yet, though. You're, yeah, you're I just, still no. just looked. like looking around. Yeah. yeah. It's it's stuck, guys. Like, this is really go, uh, weird. Go hit it, and maybe it'll uh, maybe it'll, maybe it'll reset. <laughs> maybe blow on it a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, go go. I'll yeah, I'll go in. Go in there, Xerxes. Xerxes. <laughs> so I almost said Rexus. <laughs> <laughs> You're falling into the trap. I'm Vex. This is Vex. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll, uh, it, it's like a side is to us as it makes its turn. Yep. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll go in and bash it right inside. <laughs> okay, you do. Uh, go ahead and make it attack. No. Mm-mm. Ten. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, you run into the room, and as you cross the, the threshold of this room, it's almost like it shifts in place, it reassembles itself. What seemed to be its back is suddenly looking oh. it's right at you. Hello. Um, and oh. its its limbs, which had seemed to be kind of locked, settle with a new trajectory. Um, you swing at it, but as it was shifting in place, it's, it's like what you were swinging at just wasn't there anymore. And it rears up, and it's bigger, much bigger than the thing down below. Oh, no. Um, this looks more like what you're used to, to dealing with. Um, and all of its attention is suddenly on you. Uh, everybody roll another shit. I get another oh, one. Oh, shit. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, go for it. Oh, you do get another one. Nope. Duh, it's cocked. I still miss. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> initiative. This is initiative. <laughs> right. Natural 20. Woo! <laughs> Watch, I think it's like 21 initiative. Okay, so you're, well, you're at the top. Nope. <laughs> 19. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, okay. Minus one. <laughs> um, I got 17. Okay. And I have seven. Okay. All right. Bring up the rear. It still uh-huh. might be at the top. Let's see. Xerxes, you are up first. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to viciously mock it. Okay. <laughs> Just for fun. Go for it. Um, it gets uh, wisdom safe. What am okay. I going to say? You think you're so big, you should see the guy outside. It's not okay. good. It's not that good. wasn't a very good burn, better. brother. That wasn't a very good burn. I'm not learned in the ways that you are. Okay. What? It's an 18? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I've wasted my turn. <laughs> it's fitting, I gotta say. Um, it just doesn't twitch. But I will threaten its space and stand in front of it with my hammer ready to go. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Hasira, you're up. Okay, um, so I'm gonna get up in its biz as well, and I'm just gonna make two attacks against it. First attack, 22. Okay, yeah, that hits. Okay, and I'll roll the second attack. Uh, 14 for the second one. Uh, that actually also hits. Oh, okay, sweet. Um, I'll roll damage for both of them. First one does six. Okay. And the second one also does six. Okay. So 12 total. 12 total. And then for my, let's see. Do, 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 do. For my bonus action. Yeah, what the hell. I'm going to spend a key point and do for flurry of blows and do two more attacks against it. Okay. Okay. So let's do that. First attack. Uh, uh 21. Okay. Um, yeah, that hits. Okay, and then the second attack. 22. <laughs> Four hits. Well done. Sweet! Yeah, okay. yeah that was a good yes. round. Yes, perfect. Uh, okay, perfect. So for that first attack, I'm going to roll damage, and then I'm going to uh, use my way of the open hand to see if I can knock it prone. Okay, how does that work? Can you so, explain how that works? Yes. So, and actually, I realize I probably shouldn't have rolled the 
second Floria blow attack because if it gets knocked prone, then um, okay. So that's a save. So you're not doing two hits. You're doing well. So the way it works is for a monk um, from way of the open hand. Um, if I hit with my flurry of blows, um, oh, it says you can. Da, 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 whenever you hit a creature with one of the attacks gained by your flurry of blows, you can impose one of the following effects. Um, so anytime I hit when I use Flurry of Blows, I can use one of these three things. Okay. So actually, does that mean that like each hit I can utilize one of those? Okay. Sounds that's, like it. Is perfect. there a save against these effects? Yes. Yes. Should be. Yes, is there it is. Each time a strike from one of your fl- uh, Flurry of mm-hmm. Blows. Okay, cool. So yes. both of my Just Flurry of Blows sure. are going to impose one of these. Okay. Um, so actually, I'll do it. I'll do this for the first one. Uh, I'm gonna try and make it so that it can't take any reactions on its next turn. And that one, it looks like it does not have a save. So for the, it just says it can't take reactions till the end of your next turn. Okay. And then the other, the other one is a deck save and then the other one's a strength save. Okay. Um, so the first one, I'm not gonna try and do a save on it. I'm just gonna, um, it can't react anymore. So it's like, it's stuck there. And then for the second attack, uh, I'm gonna have it do um, a deck save. I'm gonna try and like sweep under its legs and see if I can knock it down. Okay. Yeah. It does not make that. That's okay. A, that's a three. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All right, so it is now it's knocked. stuck in this room. <laughs> yeah, it's knocked prone. Okay. Um, it just kind of seems to sink uh, about a foot and it is sitting on the ground. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and that's it for me. Okay, okay, but you don't do damage for the two ones in your flurry of blows if you use the effects? You do. No, I you still should. do damage. Okay, so, so you haven't done damage I haven't rolled those damages yeah. yet, so let's do that. Ooh, that's good. Um, let's see. Uh, nine for the first hit. Okay. Flurry of blows. And then four for the second one. Okay. Yes. So, Sounds good. That was a lot of damage. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. All right, cool. That was a very good turn. Sweet. Uh, fantastic. So you just basically vault over um, Xerxes, Xerxes, <laughs> yeah. Xerxes um, and wail into this creature, um, hitting four blows in like seconds. Um, it crumbles uh, to the ground and it's just kind of staring you in the face. Mm-hmm. Even prone, it is about the size you are, um, but it, it does seem to have taken a lot of punishment that turn. Nice. Okay, cool. And that's it for me. I'm gonna stay up up there. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Um, okay, so that means that uh Rexus, you're next. Alright, um, yeah, I see my teammates just totally beating the shit out of this thing. Um, instead <laughs> of doing them. anything too fancy. <laughs> I see my one competent teammate and then my <laughs> idiot brother who is along. Um, and I'm going to vault into the room and then sort of in a one-two punch, uh, Eldritch Blast, okay. the prone creature. So two attacks, both with advantage. It's the Warlock MO. Teen. With advantage? Teen. Yeah, because it's prone. Disadvantage. At range? For range. It's oh, for range? Yeah, it's disadvantage for range, advantage if you're melee. Because it's like harder to hit. Oh, okay. So, well, that was um, that was 22 for the first attack. Sorry, yes. my competent brother. <laughs> <laughs> so 22 for the first attack, and then 15 and nine for the second attack. Okay, the first yeah. one hits. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? I I'm very confused by how prone works, and also <laughs> I've never actually played a ranged character. <laughs> actually, that is you're, a total lie. I have. <laughs> you are harder to hit when you are on uh, the ground seven, from a distance. And seven. You only hit with once. Oh, I only hit with once. Yeah, yeah right, right. <laughs> okay. Seven damage. Seven damage. <laughs> cool stuff. We, we got All you. Right. We got you. Um, <laughs> you launch off to blast one hitting its shoulder-ish area um, and one sort of slamming into the wall behind it. It shudders and shakes and rises to its feet using half of its movement. And I guess you're probably closest since I said you vaulted over um, Xerxes. Come so at me. I think it's going to... Attempt to attack you. Um, okay. This so is, huh? this is its turn, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's its turn. All right. Uh, yeah. It's not using a reaction. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. So it lowers um, the the front part of it, and spikes appear um, sort of out of where a head might be, and it's gonna run at you. Shit. Uh, so that's gonna be. You're gonna get gored. Yep. That's the one. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Nineteen. You got okay. gored. <laughs> you got gored. <laughs> oh um, no! So that's 
Oof. Oof. Uh, that's 28 damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all, I'm down. What? Really? I didn't heal after we sparred. No, oh, yeah, you we didn't. did not. Uh, well. Okay, well, it slams into you, and you fly backwards, hitting the wall behind you, and drop to the ground. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Okay. Nope. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. I okay. should. All right. My turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's your turn. Uh, it just kind of like stamps its strange spikes into the ground, and yeah, you're up. Is so I'm in melee with it, but is she further away? Oh uh, yeah. Crap. <laughs> well, I was in melee, you're, but you're, I got yeah, thrown. Um, yeah, Gore doesn't actually throw. So, like, I'm oh. gonna say, like, you're pretty close to the wall. You slam back against it and drop, but you're still okay. But you're also down, so I don't think you're in. You count. <laughs> I want to be able to get to her without leaving melee. Yeah, you can do Okay, that. yeah. that's what I'm getting yeah. at. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I'll spend my turn <laughs> to go over and I will lay my hands <laughs> upon you and give you uh, 10, 10 <laughs> hit points. Sure, thanks. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Come on, get back in there. <sighs> Oh god, that hit really hard. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh. You feel your armor sort of like caved in in the front and it's desperately trying to repair itself. Oh. Like you can see the <laughs> um the fibers of it trying to stitch back together, oh. but that was a hard hit, obviously. I, yeah. <laughs> um well, so that was your that's action? my action. Okay. <laughs> I, Do you have a bonus? I Yeah, I will cast I will cast Thunderous Smite as a bonus action for next time. Okay. It lasts can a minute. You, can you read? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for, so for my next melee weapon attack, if it hits, it's plus 2d6 thunder and a strength save or knock prone or push back 10 feet. Okay. That's cool. So, but I can I can maintain it for the next round. So I'll ca- pre-cast it for next time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. It starts sparking with thunderous energy, which I don't know what that looks like because I was thinking lightning and that's not the same. <laughs> that's so it's just pulsing sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's shaking. Off of, yeah. it's, it's vibrating. It's, vibrating. it's, like, yeah. it's like a subwoofer. Yeah. Yes. I like that. Yeah. All right. It's ready to go. <laughs> that's cool. And I'm protecting you on the ground there. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so that's your turn. Yep. All right. <laughs> Asira, you're up. Oh, um, it's shit. your turn. You're prone on the ground. But... Well, I'm gonna spin out my movement to get up. Okay. Um, and I guess I gotta use this business. Well, <laughs> what well, does that mean? <laughs> well, I can heal myself. Okay. I have a method of healing myself, but then I, it's like I lose it. That's it. It's gone. Do you have something else to do today? <laughs> well, I also have a healing potion, so um, I'm gonna drink that. I'm okay. gonna like pop off the healing potion, and that's two d six. Is that right? Usually, I should have had that up. Two d four plus. Four. Or is it two d four plus two? Two d four plus two. I think. Where's the plus two coming from? <laughs> Being <laughs> 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 whatever. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure that's it's two d four plus two. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah, crazy. Okay. <laughs> it's from the item. Turns out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't want you to get two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is what it is. Two fives. Cool, seven. Seven points. <laughs> there you go. And right. she's back, baby. Um, all right, so I'm up and... You're up to 17? I'm up to yeah. 17. All right. <laughs> yeah. Not enough to take another core. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use... Yeah, no, super not. <sighs> I hate this. Uh, I'm going to use... I'm going to spend a key point to take uh, patient defense and go into a defensive stance. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's it for me. All right. Rexus? Uh, how is it looking right now? Um, <laughs> we've only hit it like twice. Yeah, yeah we've only I hit mean, it twice. Like, yeah. <laughs> it Fair. took those four, those four hits, um, and it didn't seem to like those, but right now no. it's got blood-stained spikes sit, <laughs> you know, spitting out of its front. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Seems to be standing strong. So I might cast um, Phantasmal Force on this. Uh, oh. um, so... It, it's going to, it's an illusion. Uh, well, actually it's um, not undead slash construct. Is it a construct? Yeah, would I know? So, <laughs> I mean, we can kind it's of- It's not a construct. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cast it It then. looks like one, but so it's not. So I'm going to have to ask it to make an int save. Okay. Intelligence save, that's wow. rare. That is in fact rare. Ooh, 
<laughs> not gonna be so It rolled good. a natural 19. Oh, oh no. But it does have minus four. Minus so. four. <laughs> and 15. Okay. Oh, it still makes it. Yeah, it makes it. Damn it! <laughs> oh, no. Um, no. Yeah, so from its perspective, um, suddenly no, it, makes it, it makes it. Oh, she, it makes yeah, she makes it. So I was like, why are you smiling? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like, oh my god, I got it. But then, okay, I'm forgetting how to play D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> it's tragic. Um, okay, yeah, so uh, nothing happens. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Such is the dice. Oh, no. Oh, oof, man. Oof. Uh, all right, it's 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 turn. Shit. Um, so you've been thrown back, and you are defensive, but you're still behind. So it's actually gonna just rush you this time. It's like pinballing off of you in this room a little cool. bit. Cool. Um, so Come yeah, at me, bro. It's gonna lower its spines, and oh fuck, that hits. I'm sorry. That's a twenty three. Come oh, at me, bro. Um, <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, it rams into you, and you feel the spikes puncture through your your um, your armor, and that. It's 25. I am alive! Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Shit. Alright. I love how gore works for your characters, but whenever <laughs> I try to do it, transparently, <laughs> I've never seen gore work. Ever. Yeah, neither have I. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> um, I didn't know it could hit. No, me this neither. This surprise to me, too. Um, Alright, yeah, that's its turn. Yeah. It, right. it, it can't move, so it's just well, gonna stay here. Alright. Um, yeah, you're uh, you're up. Yeah, Zerzas. I guess I've used that spell, so okay. I might as well try. Yeah. Uh, eighteen. Yeah, that hits. Okay, Woo. cool. Yeah. Um, Smite it. Okay, so that's thirteen for the hit, and seven more for the thunderous damage. Okay, all right, um, that's good. Strength save from it. Okay. And I'm actually going to, I'm gonna push it back 10 feet if I can, if it fails its save. It's a 17. It makes it save. Okay. <laughs> so, right. useless. Yep. Oh, just for the listeners out there, I'm using a dice roller app. That's why you don't hear a, a roll every time <laughs> that, that I'm rolling. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. um, it's a little more. cleaner for you. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had some mishaps with rolling dice, <laughs> yeah. so I, I'm just using my my phone. And I will I will give it one more go. Okay, go for it. And it's schnoz. Uh, Twenty. That hit. hits. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Twelve, and I will throw some divine smite into there. Sweet. Just a regular old one. Seven more again. Okay. Nice. Paladin doing paladin stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. <laughs> After spending my whole turn doing nothing <laughs> and then healing no. you. <laughs> um, all right, with that, it is it is definitely looking hurt. You oh. smash concave like Ooh. like dents in um, the side of its form. You even knocked off one of the spikes in the front that kind of yeah. went skittering off and uh, dissolved into nothingness. Uh, it's still standing, but it that that definitely did some real okay. damage. Let's see if I live um, through the next round. Yeah. You you are up. So, Sarah? is it still up in my? It's still close to me. Yeah, you're in melee. I'm still in melee. You're just a little farther back. Okay. Okay. I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to like plant my feet and like stare it down and just like rear back and. And I'm gonna breathe uh, a line of lightning damage at it. Okay. Um, so it has to make a deck save. That's a nine. It failed! <laughs> Yay! Yay. Uh, and it's gonna take 3d6 lightning damage. What else is in that line? Um, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> We're in the control oh. room. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, shit. It, is it, like, what's the... the... It's 30, oh, it's 30, it's 30, 30 feet long. It's yeah. 30 feet long. Okay. But, but I don't know if it goes through it or what. Well, now like, the train will go twice as fast. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, see, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Let's we'll see how it goes. The train, yeah. is, the train is now operational. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, uh, 16 points of lightning damage. Wow. Yeah. From 3d6? That's yeah. crazy. I got two sixes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The lightning crackles through it, and you can see it just break pieces that just are shedding off left and right. It's getting smaller and smaller. It is, it is barely alive. Wow, it's barely a living thing, but it is still technically alive. And I'm gonna make a roll to see what happens to through. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> 
Yeah, no. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so it was, it basically was a DC of 10, and if you got above 10, you were gonna actually do exactly what you said, <laughs> activate the, the trolley, oh, and no. it's gonna go. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't make that, so um, you it smell burning and see, like, the dim blue lights that were over in the corner just fade to black instantly. It's okay, um, it's okay. Yeah. That's part of my training. It was a six year degree in electrical engineering. So <laughs> I'm sure we can make this work out. You're not one of the engineers. I We're am, the best of the best. I'm an amateur <laughs> tram operator. Actually, I do that in my free time. Um, at, at I'm a minimum, six year old guy that loves trains. shorted it out. Um, <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll see what's, what's really going on there. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, well. Okay. It was a big hit, though. It was, no, it, that was a really good hit. It just also hurt other things. Yeah. Yes, wow. okay. Is that your turn? Yes, okay. that is it for me. Rexus. Um, Brother, you can do it. Yeah, Please so... Please do it. After seeing... <laughs> <laughs> he, he considers doing it for a minute. <laughs> um, no, I'm just going to very simply Eldritch Blast again. Okay. Um, safe. Got, do the high, Warlock safe. thing. Ooh, that high is 11, chances. so that's a no for the right hand. And then the left hand no. is a 21. That does hit. Okay. Whew. Right. You don't know that 11 is a no. And then that's six damage. That is enough damage. Yes! yes. <laughs> um, you duck down to, to fire off an Eldritch Blast and hit it like underneath, and whatever you hit was a, a weak point, and this thing dissolves to pieces. The entire, like, it's just chunks on the floor. Oof. Looks like rubble. Um, and you have successfully defeated the creature. Oh, Although it, it definitely did some damage to two of you. A little bit. Yeah. All right. But the, uh, the control room is clear. Well done. Ooh. Okay. We did it. Ah, uh, oh, all right. I'm I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to need a little rest before we can continue on. Mhm. Uh, if you guys are okay with that. Uh yes. I think there's an infirmary. Are there infirmaries on this floor? What in the we? offices? No, no, not in the offices. I mean, no. there's a break room. But <laughs> there's probably an infirmary on the in first the, floor. Yeah. The but you run the risk of yeah. You're close to the creatures then. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Gather close, friends. I know that was tough, but we can do it. I'm gonna ca- I'm gonna use my channel divinity. Okay. okay. Um, right. And cast turn the tide. What is um, that? <laughs> it is healing if you are below half your HP. I am below and half. And me my too. HP. <laughs> <laughs> so you get one d six plus three, which I guess I'll roll. Oh, for both of us. Yeah, we each get eight. Nice. Okay. Um. But you don't get that. <laughs> I, I don't get that anyway because I was standing off in the corner and I didn't really want to. Brooding, yeah, sure. Yeah, I didn't want to interact with my brother in that way. <laughs> you and I can do it together without him. <laughs> All right. So, are you taking a short rest or? Yeah. Would you, get... you like to? I I would like to do that. I need to I need to steal myself again. Find your center and realign yeah. your chi. I need to go meditate a little bit. Um, um, okay. So I'm gonna like first I'm gonna close the door into the. <laughs> Okay. Like it's off the I'm gonna I'm oh, gonna make a, a quick reminder. Yeah. A short rest is an hour. Yeah. Yeah, but so you are you were totally able to do it, but also you might be interrupted, which would throw it off, and also an hour will pass. Shit. I really I wanna be clear, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just yeah. like No, explain it. It's a choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't mind it. I, w- I really need to. But... I know that we there's like urgency here. But I'm really hurting and I need to like Spend some dice. Yeah. Well, not no, well. Yeah. One, spend some dice, and two, <laughs> regain all my key. <laughs> burn Get all it. of my no. key points back because I needed to use them to defend and do shit. Is there a more uh, defensible room we can find? One of the offices, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we can find somewhere we can to find an intact office. Yeah. Here. Find a to settle a in. locked door that we can open with our key and. Yep. Yeah. Maybe we should do that. Okay. Okay. You That's can fine. To, can we look around for that? Yeah. Um. Go ahead and make a just an investigation check. Oh wait, all of us? Well, we're just. I guess <laughs> now. No, it is. Fifteen. <laughs> no, thirteen. Eleven. Okay. That's yeah. Fine. <laughs> as long as it wasn't like a one. It's Twelve. Was, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Yes. You sort of start. Excuse me. You start circling around the the perimeter um, of this floor, and you find uh, the office that belonged to the engineer you found in the cafeteria. So you're able to use that badge to get into the room. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's comfortably def- uh, decorated. There's a couch. They've painted the beams. Uh, cool. Yeah. 
no. Nice, they made it home. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. He's dead. I'm gonna settle into like I don't know. I'm gonna go under the desk <laughs> and like sit crisscross applesauce and just like meditate. Um, okay. And yeah, and regain all of my points. Dibs on the couch. We. <laughs> I will spend some hit dice. Okay, go for it. Um, I will too. I'll do that as well. What do I get? Yates. Nice. I think that. Okay. Yeah. I'll do one more. I take the time to read through my book and do whatever else it is I do. Any answers in there? Um, all of them. How do we get out of here? Well, not that one. <laughs> Uh, as you're taking a rest, you can hear in the distance concussive blasts and a screeching, groaning noise. Um, one force goes off and you can feel the entire building shake, but you're undisturbed. Should we try to get the tram working, or are we back out downstairs? Well, fighting we, our way through. we should at least, maybe, since we're up here on the second floor, go see if we can get the tram working. Maybe look out the windows, too, and see if we can't. Are there any windows in this room? There is. It's they not looking the out. Yeah, now. it's looking out towards the ocean. Okay. Okay, so we can't see what's going on. Yeah. Corner yeah. office. <laughs> <laughs> you see a few like teeny tiny little islands off in the distance, but could go there, start a new life. <laughs> Unless... No, no, no. We got to deal with this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably deal with this. <laughs> you know, given that we're the only we signed up for this, and we we'll even can. get paid. <laughs> That's what you're thinking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go check the the control room the and see if we can get that. The front or the control room for the tram? That is the front. That's the front? The oh, that is up yeah. by the front, you're right. Okay, and see if we can get that working. Uh, you leave the office and make your way towards uh, the front wall of windows where the tram and the control room are located. And immediately upon looking out the windows, you see that the situation has shifted slightly. A... Looks like just a line of force has blasted through not just the tramway, but also the bridge beneath it, creating like a gap between your side Dude. and that side. Shit. Is it, can it's we tell? It's not a huge gap, but it's a gap. So the, the tram is severed. You may be able to, to cross it, but taking the tram may no longer be a viable option. All right. Well, I guess. Or at the very least, the tram won't be able to get all the way across. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. mean you don't use it, but. Uh, we can do it by foot, or we can try and see if we can get the tram working part way, and then try and jump the gap when we get there. We can't run it as a distraction, or we can we could. And let it jump the gap by itself, <laughs> or crash spectacularly. <laughs> it might take more of the bridge down, though. This is ahead of ourselves. It doesn't work yet. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We don't even know if it works. And there's a big dead body in the way in the control room. Or did it, like, fizzle away? Is oh, wait, it, yeah. It's, it's rubble. Gone. Like, yeah. it, parts of it fizzled into nothing, but other parts okay. of it remain. The okay. corpses don't completely disappear. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. Well, like, uh, let's take a look before okay. anything else. Yeah, let's go check it out. So we'll go into the control room and see what the sitch is. Okay. So how are you going to try to um, either analyze the problem or fix the problem? What sort of steps would you like to take? Mm. So the thing is, I'm not, I'm not super smart, but uh, <laughs> I want to yeah. I want to go like see if there are any if there's like wiring in the control panel that has been like singed. If there's any way I can like reconnect some of them, or like you know you do a little bit of do a little little bit of patchwork on the on the wiring system. Okay, that makes sense. Um, you don't have a tinkers kit, do you, or do you? Um, I, don't I do have a tinkers All kit. All right, then yes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say make a hmm. What does a tinkers kit use? Is it a specific check or is it just a? I think it's dex. I think dex, it is just dex. 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 Dex, dex and proficiency. Proficiency modifier. Proficiency plus dex. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Fuck. It's not oh, good. That's not um, good. <laughs> eight. Okay. Woof. I rolled a two. <laughs> yeah. No, um. Uh, not good. <laughs> yeah. You you duck under the, the the console trying to see what's available. You sort of pry off um the the casing and look inside and remember that you know nothing about computers <laughs> and that this maybe wasn't a great idea. Um, looks like there might be damage in there, but <laughs> <laughs> shit. Uh, one of you bros want to come look at this? 
Yeah, let's get, let's do it. Wait, you said you were an, you were an engineer. Yep. Yeah, get in here. Okay. See if you can fix it. Okay. You want you want to take my tinker's tools? Sure. Here here they are. I'm not proficient. You don't have you don't have proficient. <laughs> I'm not proficient, and my dex is minus one. So let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Delicate work. Come on, at twenty. Uh, that's a nine. One better than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, you look in and are flummoxed by not not. I thought only... they were supposed to be color coded. Yeah, no, they're all black wires. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Why would they do that? <laughs> There's one bit that looks like it kind of like might glow multicolor, but you don't know what any of this is. Something spinning. I, I, I that's maybe a good sign. It's still spinning. I, I didn't finish my degree. He had some all difficulty right. with it. I mean, I could try and like. Is there any way that I could like? Give it a little like jolt of electricity without like breathing on it. Can I, I lick it? Have... <laughs> <laughs> Just breathe. Just oh, like... like when you lick a nine volt battery and you get the little little like the little. <laughs> You're not um... charging the battery. <laughs> 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 So with with tieflings, like if you have a, a fire tiefling, it's either oh no, you're not a tiefling, you're a dragon. No, I'm a dragonborn. Um, I'm a bronze dragonborn. I'm resistant to lightning damage, but that's all. So you could stick your hand <laughs> yeah, in and wiggle it around a little bit. Hope for the best. <laughs> At this point, I don't your body. Okay, really here's conduct. the deal. You can roll what I'm gonna call a luck roll. Oh. But if you Ooh. fail, nobody else gets to try to fix this. So this is this is a hail mary unless you want to come up with like a better a better solution. Well, I don't know. I don't know what another solution would be to this. Um, um, we find that we search for a surviving engineer in the I, building, and it's been an hour. I don't know if they're <laughs> if anyone. <laughs> they're, they're, they're clever. They're clever. They're clever folk. You know, one of them's probably squirreled away somewhere. Or we just walk the tracks. That probably is the best plan at this point. Yeah. Or I, I mean, said that an hour ago, I know, you guys. I know. <laughs> Let me, I'll, I'll when take, the tracks were complete. DM, I'll take the Hail Mary. All right, go for it. <laughs> what am I adding to it's this? It's a flat roll. You add nothing. It's a well, DC 14. I'm going to take, I'm rolling my original Two-thirds. die here. One third. Not I rolled a three. That's, that's, that's you stick your hand in and you do get that pleasant, like, lick a battery jolt, but nothing seems to work. And you have the feeling that you may have made it worse. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I think it's broken. Okay. I'll smash it with my hammer. <laughs> just Why? to be sure. Why? Roll to attack. So that no one else can now use the render, it. Now the render can't use it. No so. one else can bring the tram after us. He'd, yeah, he'd... I fucking missed. <laughs> Eleven. That hits. It's a stationary like console. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it's like eight damage. You crushed it. It's dead. Cool. Before we move on, yes. Is there anything in this room that suggests like why the the render like stopped rendering in here? Like, <laughs> I think he just got physically stuck. He was trying to turn around, and you're making this into this whole big thing. I just want to make sure. <laughs> He got regular stuck. <laughs> like a Roomba. <laughs> um, okay. Make a survival check? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Five. <laughs> These rolls. Ah. This is horrible. All right. Get me out of this room. <laughs> You're absolutely certain there's nothing in this room that can help you. Awesome. Okay. All right. Shut me down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we go down or do we walk? Do we walk the tracks? I think. I think we should walk. I'm um, partial walk, to walking the tracks. I think we should walk the tracks and see, get one, jump the gap when we get there. I, I've seen them have terrible attacks up close, but I think we might be able to make it. Well, we can We're see them start. Do we want to go quickly or do we want to move like stealthily? What do you think? I think quickly is better than stealthily when we're out in the open. I think so too. I think we got to go as fast as we can. Okay. Uh, what time of day is it? Uh, it is now almost like it's like dusk. Right? Yeah, it's dusk. dusk. Okay. Yeah. There's still light, but it's getting. That's towards good. Night. That's perfect for this. Yeah. We can still see where we're going, but we'll be a little bit more. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sounds scared. good. Okay. This is going to be a a multi check mm -hmm. process. Um, mm -hmm. To start off with, I'd like you all to roll stealth rolls. I know you're not going slowly, but just Damn generally it. to see. All right. <laughs> that disadvantage is really killer. Yep. <laughs> Mm. It's almost like it's a trade-off for, you know, never being able to be hit. <laughs> you got hits. I got hit plenty. <laughs> yeah. Take hits. Get good. Um, I got 11. Okay. Uh, 21. Okay. Nine. Okay. All oh. right. It's a 10 you... average. 
take off um, sprinting across uh, the rail. The the glass around it was broken, so you're able to, to basically hop on. It's there's a like a, a wide support, but the rail itself is fairly thin. Um, so it's probably about I'm gonna say five feet across, five or six feet across um, of running okay. platform. Um, so you take off, uh, I'm assuming like double dash all the way across. Mm -hmm. And the going is easy for a little bit uh, because it's dusk and because um, of the, the lighting, things from below don't seem to, to notice you as you're, you're sort of making your way. You're doing as much as you can to like not make crunching gravel noises or knock things off and you make it a ways. This gap is like from here to the other building is probably about a thousand feet, something around okay. that, 1,200. How, how far is the other island? Is it like a quarter mile away? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. About that. Okay. Um, you just keep on running and running and running and you're feeling good because the things below, they're definitely still down there despite the blast that's torn its way through um, this railing and the bridge. They're kind of just milling around. There's fewer, but you don't know whether that means there's more in the buildings or what's going on. But some of the larger forms, the bus size forms are still kind of down there. And for almost the length up to the, the terror and the, the railing, you think you've gone unnoticed. And then you hear sort of a noise. Um, it's it's slow and groaning and you look up and you see that the, the giant kaiju sized uh, render is slowly oh, no. turning in your direction. The final light of the, the sunset sort of glinting off of its obsidian facets. And it seems to have noticed you. It hasn't done anything though by the time you've reached the break in the rail. Mm -hmm. um, so the break in the rail uh, is, it's pretty wide. You can make it. Um, potentially we're gonna do probably an acrobatics or athletics check. I will allow you to do whichever you are better at. Nice. Um, but. The thing to keep in mind, though, is that this is a, a somewhat wide gulf, and there's not much of a, a safety below. So just keep that in mind. If there's something you want to do to... How, how stable does it feel, like, coming up to this break? Is it is it um, between supports, or is it it's like... It's between supports. Okay, so it's so, not too bad? No, it doesn't look like, like if you put too much weight on the end, it's going to okay. crumble. Um, it also I'm looks like it was. Crumbling it, but I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> well, you can try. You can you can use your. Yeah, I'll, um, think yeah. I'll think about it. How far? How high above the water is it? Um. Well, you're probably you're about two stories above the bridge, and then probably about. I don't know. Um, it's like thirty feet up. Yeah. Above the from water. The, from no. From no. The, from the from deck. the bridge. So. It's like uh, seventy feet, sixty feet. Two stories. No, plus plus the thirty feet. Oh, I of the bridge. Question for the DM. Yeah. Um, the spell plant growth. Uh -huh. um, do you need plants to be there already, <laughs> or can can I make plants appear? Or you know, what level we, is that? I uh, believe, level three. I believe they affect existing plants. Dang. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna read the whole thing. Yeah. Give me a sec. They, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually trying to. Yeah. Increase. You can change like the biome, or you can make rough terrain. Like, yeah. That's yeah. That's exactly it. It's just rough terrain, but it, okay. it's existing plants, unfortunately. Yeah. So okay. Like running through a field. And I couldn't. I couldn't do something goofy like say kelp in the ocean, <laughs> suddenly growing. You could. 30 you're feet very. Taller. <laughs> what's the range of the spell? Uh, 100 feet radius. Oh, that's pretty big. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is bigger than I thought. Yeah. yeah. That I mean, actually gets you there. That's a third level spell, so I imagine yeah. it's got to be yeah. still pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> so can I can I use that to make a airsats bridge? <laughs> you stopped yes. the DM. Bri bridge of kelp. Bridge of kelp. <laughs> well, because, bridge okay, of all right, kelp. sorry, I want to give this <laughs> to you. Because it's make a safety net. Yeah, and yeah. I, I think it's a cute idea, but, like, okay, I'm trying to... <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, so like... So it would not only have to hyper-grow up the bridge, but then up the, the empty air. <laughs> it's spiraling up the supports. Yeah, there's there's supports, right? Kelp doesn't do that. <laughs> it does under plant growth. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It's forced. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you had been on the bridge... I would give this to you, but because you are on a thin, suspended railing, two stories above the bridge, I, I don't think. All right, just jump. You. I'm okay, sorry. yeah, yeah. I'll jump. just jump. It yeah. was a good idea, but I'm it's go just last. too far. All right, so, um, I'm going to jump, and I'm going to use dexterity. Okay. Are you making an acrobatics? Yep. Yeah. Okay, acrobatics. Yeah, apologies. Yeah. Using the plus one instead of the plus two instead of the minus one. That's probably a good move. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. With 15, you make it. Uh, you take a few steps back and launch yourself um, over, and you land squarely on, on your feet on the other side. You kind of like wobble a little yeah. bit. And I uh, turn around and do make a little bow and wait for them to follow me. Nice. All right, I'll, I'll go next. I'll run and make a leap. 
Natural 20. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? That, um, you get a, a victory lap here. I, I run and when I, I leap and I make it, but then when I land, I'm gonna turn into like a little somersault, like a little roll, and then jump up like onto my feet afterwards. So add a little, little flourish to it. You think I can make an attack as I'm jumping <laughs> off one side towards the other? What? Why? <laughs> to block the way behind us. I was going to thunderously smite the bridge as I left. <laughs> Try and start some vibrations. <laughs> you might want to do that when you land. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't are you take... doing it and then jumping? Well, I don't want to you... do it on the other side. <laughs> He wants to try and break the bridge that he's jumping on. No, yeah. I know, but I'm trying to figure out a way not to give you disadvantage on your Let's do it. your check. Okay, Let's do it. sure. All right. So I'll make yes, my, I'll make can, my attack you first. Get, you do get disadvantage on your, right. your check. Well, I'll make Where's my attack first. Ugh. Let's do that. It's twenty to hit the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the bridge. <laughs> Just you know, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, seven damage and nine thunder damage. Sure. Yeah. No. That that's really solid. Okay. Um, you hit the bridge. Um, sort of as you're you're launching off of it, and you, as your feet leave it, feel it begin to crumble nice. beneath. It's not going to crumble back far, but it, it you did knock off. Probably. This is my like, legacy. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Four feet. Pretty good still, uh, 17. All right, nice. okay. Well played, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, no, you, you launch yourself away as four feet of the bridge crumble behind you and land squarely on the other side, sort of your your Warhammer still in hand. Let's see best them follow of, that. Best of the best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, Taking down a bridge or two in my time. <laughs> that was loud though. Yeah, it was really loud. Yeah, yeah. and um, you can sort of almost hear the creatures below you, attention, rise and rise as the stones come falling down. I want to keep booking it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I want them to be distracted by that. Run, run, yeah. run. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right. So yeah, they're looking right above them at the, the crumbling rail, but you've already taken off towards the hangar. Perfect. Uh, you're sprinting that way. And from above, you hear a horrible creaking, groaning sound. And as you look up, you see the top of the the, the kaiju size render's head seems to be almost splitting in what looks like a Glasgow smile. It's cutting all the way to the edges and then lifting off, the Ugh. top part of its head floating above the rest of its body. Between the two pieces is a spark of energy. And in a moment, the railing behind you is just gone as a blast of force takes out not only the railing but the bridge and it cuts into the bridge that goes to the mainland. Looking back you see the mainland bridge is scored with these um, slashes all the way back. You, because you started running immediately, were well out of the way but uh, the railing is out of the picture now. You are not going to be able to return this way. Shit. Is it similar to the first um, blast that cut the bridge, up, bridge yes. in half? Okay. Mm -hmm. the same. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's another yep. one. Yep. Ooh, okay. But, okay. Um, it's like we're gonna make it though. But you're running, we're and running. you're running, and you're running, and in front of you is the hangar. The there's like a, a gap where the 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 tram would usually sort of dock. It's got sliding doors, but one of them seems like kind of like it's it's broken a little bit. There's a gap that you can get in there, and you duck underneath and emerge on the the top level of the hangar. The hangar consists of a series of rings that descend not only down to ground level, but deep into the earth. Um, and you come running to the railing and look down below you to judge the scenario inside the hangar. And what you see is familiar and comforting and a, a light in the darkness because there before you are your mechs. Um, <laughs> oh, you three yes. are the greatest pilots that have ever fought the render and before you are your weapons and they've been primed. It seems like whoever was in this hangar doesn't seem to be here anymore, and you see the evidence of that scattered around. There's people um, not only on the catwalks, but also just on the floor below uh, that have fallen in their place. But it seems like they had enough warning, just enough warning, to properly prime your mechs. And it occurs to you that that might be why the power went off, because everything was routed towards making sure you had the best chance. You are on the top le level, which luckily puts you on the level of the entrance to your mechs. You only have to run the circle over there in order to get to your equipment. But in front of you are four of the small render. Oh, they shit. definitely heard and noticed, and they've been running and climbing up over the catwalks um, and towards you. So all you have to do is get through them 
And then we're... And you'll be ready. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. I want right. to I want to start yeah. carving through these little shits. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, all right. The first one, the, the one that's sort of leading the charge is about 20 feet in front of you. And I'm okay. going to say, everybody, roll for initiative. All right. Boom. <laughs> Last. That's okay. You know, you'll heal everybody when they get to me. I could. <laughs> Um, they, I'm gonna turn. roll one single initiative for all. Sure. Okay. okay with that. Sounds good. Okay. So what? What's everyone got? Uh, I got 23. Okay. Uh, 15. Okay. Five. Okay. Fantastic. So that first one is 20 feet away from you, and uh, Hasira. <laughs> I always forget your name. I'm so sorry. Hasira. Feel, yeah, Hasira. Okay. Um, you are first. Okay. All right. Um, it's 20 feet away from me. Well, I'm going to run up to that first one and I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do two unarmed strikes against it. Give okay. it what for. Give it the old what for, yeah. It's a miss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> a nine. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> one more, uh, you got one more, cool. you got one more. I got one, bonus action attack. Yeah, let's do that. That one definitely hits. Um, that is 22. Yes, that definitely hits. Okay, sweet. Okay. Mm, four points of damage. That's something. All of that. Every little bit counts. <laughs> yeah. um, you unleash a series of blows towards this one in the front, but it just seems to morph around your, your attacks. Uh, it's primed and ready, and it's out in the open, and uh, it definitely saw you coming. Mm. Rexus, you're up. Uh, how close are they to each other? Um, they're probably about... The first one is 10 feet out, and the others are within 5 feet of each other. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to um, cast Fairy Fire, centered in... Uh, sort of centered in... Yeah, I guess it's it's like... Yeah, I can hit all of them. It's a 20-foot cube. So. Yeah, no, yeah, that gets for them. sure. All right, so they have to make a dexterity save. Okay. Oh, that's a 3. That's a 3. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 9. And that's a five. So. Uh, all of them, all they're of them all are lit up. It's a very soft and you know pleasant looking light. If oh my for gosh! Being a geometric core. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, they're that's all so glowing. Cool. And then yeah, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna sort of run back and shelter behind something. So, that, so everything has advantage against them. Yep. Okay, all attacks cool. have advantage. Okay. There's a console by the the tram, and you can duck behind. Okay. Them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, they're up, and you're close. So um, they're all. I guess they're all probably within range of you, and, and you by you I mean um, Hasira. Okay. Um, okay, so two of them are going to run up to you, Hasira. Okay. Um, and they are going to make, make their multi attack. How big is this catwalk? Um, it's about 20 feet across. Okay, are there railings? Yes. Cool. Yep. Um, okay, so the first one is going to make a multi attack towards you. Ooh, okay. Um, so that's a, nope, that misses, that's a seven. All right. God, they suck. They're really bad. <laughs> Good, because we yep. uh, That's a nine. That hits. That's a an 18. That one, yeah, that okay. hits. So the, the first one running towards you uh, manages to miss with two of its spikes, but lands with the third, uh, which is going to be five points of d uh, bludgeoning damage. Okay. Okay. The second one is right behind it, um, and it too is going to come up and try to make a multi attack towards you. All right, I know. I'm yep, sorry. That's you, fine. You ran out in front. I'm right. I'm right there. I'm coming. It's okay. That's a natural one, <laughs> Woo! Uh, which I'm going to say cost it its second attack. It, it spears towards you and just kind of falls in on itself. <laughs> oh. It takes it a moment to, to right itself, but it makes oh, a third attack. All those little holes. Exactly. In the yeah. Poor thing. Um, and that's a 16 to hit. That hits. Okay. Yeah. So it too makes its third strike, and that's another five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. The two behind it are going to circle around. One is going to come around you, try to avoid uh, melee, kind of skirting you along the wall. Okay. Um, and it's going to try to get up in melee with you. Okay. Um, and it will make a multi attack on you, uh, Xerxes. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with, it. deal with it. I know. I am dealing with it. <laughs> My version of dealing with it is flipping back every single time I have to say one of your names. Um, you, we nope. can call you Rex. I realize yeah. that we're we're 
deep into this now, but you couldn't. Rex and Zerk. It's Xerxes and it's Rexes. We have like I have to. I have to do it. Um, Okay, no, that's the first one's a miss. That's a seven. The second one is a twenty-three. Hit. Okay, and the third one is also a miss with a seven. Cool. Okay, uh, that's four damage. No, three damage. Okay. Uh, And that's. It's entire turn. Cool. Uh, There's and the one other, more for me. Uh, yeah, and the other one is also going to circle around on the other side, so you're going to be flanked a little bit. Come up for playtime. Exactly. Um, and that's a uh, 15 to hit. Nope. Okay. A natural one, and that also nope. is going to cost it its other. <laughs> it's natural... All right. Not a super inspiring turn from <laughs> the render. Okay. Uh, with the, the render done attempting to flail on you, um, <laughs> it is now going to be uh, Rexus's turn. No. He it's already went. His... No, it's Yeah, done. sorry. Yeah. Uh, um, Xerxes' turn. And uh, the, so other, the other group with... is 20 feet away? Uh, they're about 10 feet in front of you. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, so there's two in melee with you and two ten feet in front of you. That are in melee with me. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I will... Well, let's see what happens, because I have advantage on these attacks. Okay. So the one right in front of me, I will just try and hit first. Okay. See what happens. Uh, a lot. 23. Yeah, that hits. And... 20. Both of those hit. Um, on that first one, I will... Dump a second level divine smite into as well. Get nice. rid of some of these guys. Six. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twenty. Uh, Thirty-one. <laughs> you just smack into it, and the concussive bo- force blows it apart. Oh it it lasts backwards and just embeds in the wall. <laughs> wow. That surprises even me. Yep. <laughs> That is gone. <laughs> well, well now, I've, now I've made the mistake of rolling my attacks first. <laughs> I can say you can. I can. I can move it to the next one. Well, I'll roll again. They're right up on you. I'll roll yeah. again okay. to be to just in case I miss. Uh, n- yeah, twenty. Uh, hits. One again. Yeah. Um. And this one is just six. Nope. <laughs> no. Six oh damage. yeah, six, six damage. damage. Oh okay. Sorry. Yes. Um. But I will. I'll hold off on using more slots. Okay. Um, but I will I will move around it to put myself closer to the other group in between. Yeah, I'll put myself between my enemy and the other group. Okay. So I'm close enough to you. Cool. <laughs> if something goes wrong. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Sarah, you're up. Okay. Um, I've got one in front of me. I'm just gonna I'm gonna start attacking it. Okay. So. And this is the same one you hit last time, right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna I want to see if I can like take this one down um so i have advantage right mm-hmm. okay Ooh. oh uh 25 that hits yeah for sure um so i'll roll damage on that uh seven points of damage yeah um second attack Two natural 20s in a row. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. Wow. Holy shit. Well, All right. So All right. Fuck them up. Fucking them up. Uh, two, four, five, seven points of damage. Does not kill it. Uh, fuck. <laughs> um, Monk crits are less exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, it's a lot of fun. But <laughs> they got the consistent output. <laughs> two 20s in a row. That's, no, that's, that's, that's pretty sweet. Amazing. And I might as well, well, I'm not going to spend a key point, but I am going to do, more, yeah. do a, a, a bonus action attack. Okay. Yeah. And it still has an advantage, so natural 19, natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think, I think it, should be, it should be like a multiplier. Like if you get two 20s on advantage, it's like 4x. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Four, eight, 11. Yeah, it's the last hit. Yes! You <laughs> land, like, strikes that somehow <laughs> seem to, like, they're concussive. There's so much power behind your, your force. Um, and the final one just rakes across with your claws, and it shatters along the, the lines of the claw marks, and it just goes down. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> that was excellent. That is... Wow! Holy All right. shit! There's two more, though. There's one on you, and there's one on um, uh, Xersus. Yep. Yes. And it's, I believe it is. Rexus is yeah, Rex, yep. yeah. All right. He's going to 
you know, an incredibly surprising move, use Eldritch Blast, <laughs> um, shooting both beams at the one that's furthest away from him. Okay. So that's yours. Yeah, so 14 and 16, so 24. Or 23, 23. For the first attack, for the right Wait, hand attack. Wait, did you, did you roll to hit? Yeah, yeah. That's to hit. To 20, hit. 23 to 23 hit. 23 to hit. Okay, sorry. All right, yeah. sorry. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, 23 damage on 2d10 would be quite well, impressive. Well, no, I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, sorry, yes. Uh, okay, so uh, 23 on hits. the right hand attack, yes. and then um, 15 on the... That just hits. <gasps> nice. Ooh, very nice. All right, so very, very nice. 2d10 damage. So that is um, 8 damage. That's a nine. That's a nine? Oh, 11 damage. <laughs> Thank you. Better. Okay. Uh, yeah, both um, blasts arc around um, Hasira and just slam into it, startling it backwards. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, they're up. Yeah. <laughs> Desperation move. Um, both of them are going to make uh, multi attacks on their respective targets. Uh, so I'll do the one against you, Hasira, first. Okay. So that's a. Um, no, that's a th- 12. <laughs> Does not hit. That's, god damn, it's unbelievable. Oh, uh, that's a five. <laughs> <laughs> and that hits with a 20. That'll hit. That'll hit, okay. Yeah. That's one freaking, you get five points of damage. Okay. Okay. Um, and the, the one against you, Xerxes, uh, is, no, <laughs> that's a seven. That's a five. It's a four. Nope. <laughs> and that will probably hit. That's a, sorry, that was not a four. It was a five, but it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> and that's a, a, a 22. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a five to hit. Or five damage. Five damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's Alrighty. <laughs> uh, it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be in the one that just hit me. <laughs> With a 23. It hits. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 13 damage. It's still alive. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, but barely. Um, Dang. You hit it with a hammer and knock off just a big chunk from its front, but... Um, All right, I'll hit it again. Okay. <laughs> oh, maybe. 14. That misses. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oof. And for my bonus action, I will weep. <laughs> Just quietly to myself. Uh, there's the husk of a creature in front of you, but it is still technically holding on. And that brings us to you, Hasira. Okay, so there's the last one that's engaged with me. That hasn't taken any hits yet. It has. The two Eldritch oh, Blasts right. hit it. Yeah. Eldritch Blast hits. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's down quite a bit. but. Okay. Well, I will make my two attacks against it. Um, so first attack, 13. Okay. Uh, that misses. Yeah. And then the second one, 16. That hits. Sweet. (laughs) Kill it and then come kill mine. (laughs) (laughs) I'm working on it. (laughs) That's what I was planning on doing for Uh, you. (laughs) Eight points of damage. Okay. It's It's hurt, but it's still up. Uh, In fact, they are the exact same amount of hurt, but still up. Uh, uh, yeah. You won't need key once you're inside your mech suit. Fuck it. I'm gonna spend a key point into the flurry of What if the mechs are powered by key, though? <laughs> then we're screwed, because I don't have any. <laughs> Alright, let me get that first one. Two natural 19s in a row! I don't understand. Oh my god! Damage on that one. Let's see. Five points of damage. It's dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you unleash a flurry of blows on it, and you keep punching long after it is melting around There's your There's no hands. way I can quickly run over to the other one and unleash my last blow onto it. I don't think you can move between flurry blows, can you? I don't know. I actually. I actually don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Um. Let's see. Why not? see. Necessarily. <laughs> Immediately after you take the attack action on your turn, you can spend one key point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Uh, vague. That is vague. So, I mean, I'm looking at... Basically, I think this is a DM call, because the problem is it says immediately uh, after you take an action, um, which yeah. means suggests that you can't move between the two. Like, yeah. Boom. Um, yeah. So, your call. I'm going to guess I can't move. I'm going to say you can't, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, because... <laughs> Rexus is out. 
All right. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just blast one more time. <laughs> Good old bread butter. You could viciously mock it. <sighs> just for change but of pace. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's, uh... but, but you've got advantage on your attack against That's, it. I do. Also yeah. true. Sorry. I mean, if you want no, to mock it, you can. I'm, but... I'm trying to think of a good burn, and that's the problem. It's you know, it's kind of hard to burn a faceless thing. With, you know, no. Yeah, you can't even. It's like, what do you insult? You can't insult its features. You don't know anything about its lineage. <laughs> <laughs> you know all the classic insults. You don't even know its favorite music. So yeah. really, something about yeah, its geometry. Whatever. I'll just blast. So right hand attack is twenty three. Yep. So twenty three. Yeah, hit. it hits. All right, and then left hand is. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, think you'll need it. <laughs> Uh, 24. It is. <laughs> and How much overkill do you give this? Uh, 15. Oh my ten, gosh! Oh my <laughs> 10 <God>. overkill. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you, you hit it, and for the first time, you see the entire form dissolve into nothing. Uh, it's kind of amazing. But the way is clear. Um, congratulations. Right. You really that. Yeah, you totally really threw them. Wanted to get to our mix. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. were not, they were not super impressive. Um, so yeah, the way is clear. You sprint along the catwalk, your footsteps echoing in the, the cavernous space. You see that you attract a little attention below you, but at this point, you almost don't care anymore. You're fo focused entirely on one goal. And you get there. You cross out on the sort of suspended bridge that crosses between the this you know this circle of this floor out into the open air uh, above the mechs, and you are even with the faces of these these giant robots. Uh. What do your mechs look like? Ooh. Uh, I, well, I assume. Why? Well, I, I don't know. I guess I get to pick. Yeah. <laughs> um, mine looks like a rock'em sock'em robot. Love it. Um, orange with purple tiger stripes. It's real ugly, <laughs> but it draws the attention of the enemy. <laughs> All right, no, fair enough, I like that. Uh, mine is mine is a little Evangelion looking like, a little like disturbingly organic. Um, Very lean? Yeah, lean lean and kind of tall. Eight pack. Um, <laughs> just 0% body fat, 2% <laughs> body art, fat. Art imitates life. <laughs> Robots imitate life, yeah. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, that, no, not too much else. Maybe for color scheme, maybe like a black and gray. Okay, nice. Oh, so, nice. so brooding. <laughs> um, I think mine has to be a Zoid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's two humans and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was imagining um, uh, like a bipedal dinosaur dragon looking thing, um, but not like a Gojulus because those things suck and they're like really top heavy and can fall over, but yeah, like it can move, so. <laughs> I'm gonna I say it probably has slightly disturbingly human like proportions. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah. It's just you can still punch, uh, but I you guess, are a dragonborn, so like. I guess so, it's like, me. Yeah. I, guess, <laughs> I guess it's myself. No, I love that, so, so cool, absolutely. It's, a Zoid-like yeah. giant. If you took a Zoid, but you also crossed it with like a furry at the same time. Are they time. like terrible? <laughs> Awful. They're like, uh, uh, <laughs> horrible. Disgusting. I was wondering, are there like halfling mechs that are the same size or like. Just regular mechs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Well, with that, yes. I have a treat for all of you. <gasps> Yay! What? You have new character sheets. What? what? Yeah, what? and also a bitch ton of magical items. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, bitch ton. Oh my god. Uh, there you go. Hell yeah, bitch ton. Uh, what? Here you go. Thank you, Shin. And <gasps> here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, it's rules. This is badass. This is so cool! Yeah, this rules. Holy shit. Um, congratulations! Right. You leveled up to level 16. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That's so many more abilities. <laughs> what? I will also say, um, for all intents and purposes, the kaiju is no longer of kaiju size to you. I don't want to have to do massive <laughs> size conversion, so now it's just huge. Uh, the visors of your mechs sort of peel back, um, and I guess that pertains to your 
dinosaur one as well. Um, <laughs> maybe it's like slits to the side. I'm, I'm not sure where its eyes yeah, are positioned. It's, uh, still in the head. It's like, you know, like the, the cockpit still opens yeah. up and then mm-hmm. clamshells back. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and inside are is sort of the, the cockpit that was designed for you three specifically. Each one is tailored to your personal style. And as you sit down in the large pilot chairs, you feel sort of a helmet descend over your head and there's a moment of silence before a pulse of energy washes through your body. The lights blink on in the, um, the eyes of these creatures and suddenly you are one. You move your hands and you move your legs and the mech moves with you. It's responsive and ready and you are ready to fight back against the render. Um, so before you all take off into the air and fight <laughs> the kaiju, I did want to ask, what are the names of your mechs? My, my orange and purple monstrosity is the Dreadnought. Okay. Yes. Right. <laughs> orange and purple? Yeah. The Dreadnought mm. Paladin? Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, you? I'm still thinking of a name. Okay. Give me a <laughs> pass on you. Yeah. What's, your, what's yours? Uh, I, mine is the Diplomat. I love it. Yeah. The Diplomat Monk. <laughs> you solve complex international problems with your fists. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. They, 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 <laughs> per- actions like speak it. louder than words here, yeah. so... <laughs> Um, I, I think I'll just go with Matador. I was trying to come up with some goofy, like, Celtic fey <laughs> name. But, yeah, you know, kind of hard to... Your just like... Disrespectful. Really, really. All right, so we have the Matador, the Dreadnought, and the Diplomat. Is that correct? Yes. All right. You... As your mechs sort of come alive, you feel the floor shifting beneath your feet, responding to you basically priming these mechs to launch. The floor is rising up, the um, basically the, the ceiling of the hangar falling away as the sort of ring, this oculus opens, uh, and you're raised up to the top of the building. You're outside and you look over the, the final like light of the setting sun uh, as it lights up this monster uh, in front of you. And I think we all need to roll initiative. Ooh. All right. Perfect. Going last. <laughs> Nat 20 on initiative. That's nice. my favorite. Very nice. Very nice. It's so good when. Nat one. Whoa. <laughs> Are you still going last? Uh, depends on their dexterity. Did you, so what did you What did you get? I rolled a three. <laughs> Flat? No modifier? Four minus one. Oh. Beats you. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I told you I was coming last. It's so good when Um, your frontline man goes last. Um, So it's, what did you get? I got 21. Okay. That rock and sock robot's got stiff joints. (laughs) I imagine you look like an old Gundam design. Yeah, I can believe that. Really really blocky. Really blocky. More like Optimus Prime from the 80s. Yes. Yeah. That's where I'm at. (laughs) But like, a special one for... I can't even think of anything that is purple and orange. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the three of you are standing side by side. Um, Wait, what was your initiative? Um, uh, 22. 22. 22. Okay. 22. Yeah. Sorry, I wrote you down as 20. Was it a nat 20? Was yep, that nat right? 20 and then yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Okay. You all are standing side by side as you see the, the kaiju turn and face you. Um, yeah. Guess you're up first. Um, Get him, Rexus. X, or yeah, so Rexus. Um, the matador. The, the matador. It's one long, skinny arm reaches up, raises, and he, it casts feeble-minded. Oh, okay, shit. all right. <laughs> level nine, yeah. level eight. Yeah, level right eight. off the bat. Right off oh the bat, huh? God. Holy mm-hmm. shit! You're gonna feeble if you land this. <laughs> <laughs> feeble mind. Okay, what what is it? Uh, oh my spell God. DC, um, DC of or a int save of DC eighteen. Okay, oh, what what an int save? Yeah, yeah. Spell yeah. Int save. <laughs> Gina, you gave this to him. <laughs> That's a 15. It's okay. It wasn't going to fight with its mind anyway. Huh? No, I know. It, yeah. it fails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's, what's uh, it going to do? It takes 15 psychic damage okay. out of 46. Um, and its intelligence and its charisma are both set to 1. And uh, it will save every 30 days. <laughs> so heads up, if the fight goes that long, you know, we can't we can't rely on this effect. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, um, it's now you you basically see it like the tension from its shoulders fall, 
except it's kind of stealing itself. It's it's strange. It's like it was regarding you, and now it is almost looking past you, but it still doesn't look delightful. Um, yeah, and then after that, it's I'm going to um, sort of hide Are behind. Are there any other effects besides the intelligence and charisma? Nope, Just that's it. Point. And then okay. 40 seconds, and then 15 seconds. You take a little damage. Yeah, okay. a little bit of sick. For what it's worth, that only deducted them two points. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> it well, still happened. Emotionally, that was a victory for no, me. No, it, so. it was. And um, under normal circumstances, but yeah, no, it doesn't have very high intelligence to charisma. Okay. All right, cool. And then, um, oh, I'm going to... Um, at will, is that an action? For which one? Yeah, because that cast... Okay, spells nice. yeah. So, um, oh, cast. Oh, right, right. Duh. Um, okay, and then I'm going to hide behind my two compatriots. Okay. Sort of stand a little bit behind. That was a really strong opening move. That's yeah. nice. How, how far away is this, uh, um, is this guy from us? Okay, and he's in so, the ocean? Yeah, he's in the ocean. Here's the deal. Um, we are changing up, like, distance measurements because I don't want you to have to ask for each spell. Like, well, if my range is 180... I just mean, like, it? is it way out there or is he up close? Um, It's about... Imagining that we're on a normal battlefield and yeah. not the size of giants. Yeah. Um, About, I'd say... 200 feet out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's more than that, obviously. But, yeah. But it's I'm like, just saying, if we're talking about little squares in the yeah, battlefield, if yeah. If we're scaling it, yes. yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. If he's 200 feet out, then. Uh, <laughs> you can't do uh, it. I, I'm going to give it to you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I should have asked before uh, casting. You're good. It's, it's 150 feet, so it's like, oh, yeah, it's if, if it was like 30 feet, you know that what? Would it's be... 150 feet out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, that, that changes very little. <laughs> it's 150 feet out. Um, and uh, Hasira, you're up. Okay. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do for my bonus action, I'm going to beep, 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 beep. I'm gonna target acquire. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, hunter's market basically. It's very very doing. nice. Um, and then I got these. Um, I got these jet boots. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna activate my jet boots and I'm just gonna launch at the thing. I wanna try and cover the distance it takes for me to get there. Okay, um, so they can't exceed your movement. Oh, but they so, can they soften your falls and they're basically the, the boots of um striding and leaping. Okay. Um, with a little bit of a nerf, so so you can jump three times your height. But okay. You can't exceed your movement distance. Okay, so it doesn't really help me go. Boom, it doesn't help me launch. It doesn't distance. launch you towards. It launches you up and also softens your fall down. Okay. You basically can catch yourself with your. Then maybe boots. I don't want to do that yet. Yep. Um, and what I'll do instead. Oh shit! I already used my bonus action. Um, I'm just going to use my action to dash. Okay. Um, I can do that. So that's ninety feet total. Yes. No. Um, it's way more than that. It's it, uh, dash. No. no, that's right. Your movement and then your movement again. Yeah, my movement is sixty-five feet. Oh right, sorry, what? I was thinking. You're oh, straight. you're yeah. higher level yeah. now. Yeah, no, there you go. One hundred and thirty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, one hundred and thirty feet of sweet, oh, but sure. not like real feet. <laughs> like obviously bigger, but yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, your your rocket boots are there, so with a a kick, um, you launch yourself off of uh the hangar. Um, and just sort of blaze of energy at your feet and power your way through the ocean over to uh, towards the, <laughs> this creature. Um, the har- it's basically a, a somewhat shallow harbor, so you can you can run here. Sweet. Um, and yeah, you get pretty close to it. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, it's gonna take me a few turns to get up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is. It is the Rinder's turn though, um, and it kind of almost thoughtlessly is going to begin moving towards the first thing that moved towards it. Mm-hmm. Um, you see it kind of like almost drag as it moves. Um, it doesn't really take steps so much as it almost pulls itself through the ocean towards you. But as it gets close, pits of, like bits of this one solid monolith start to spike off, forming jagged arms that seem to be carrying it towards you, almost spider-like. Yeah. It gets within um, melee range of you, and it is going to multi-attack you. Okay. Yeah. Stay alive. Come at Stay me, alive, please. Um, so first and foremost, it's going to try to ju- like jab towards you with its pointy legs. Okay. At least two turns away um, from you, by the way. <laughs> That's a uh, a twenty one to hit. That one hits. Start. Okay. And the second one, I'm gonna do the two legs first. Okay. The second one is a fifteen to hit. 
That does not hit. Okay. First one uh, deals 15 slashing damage to you. Okay. Okay, so it sort of spikes towards you, but you really smoothly duck out of the way. This mech is designed for agility. Mm -hmm. Um, And as soon as you get hit by that first one, you anticipate the second and dodge. Um, Frustrated, though, it seems to peel its head back. Once again, the top part, like, shifting away from the rest of the body to form that strange, wide smile. Uh, And it's going to use a beam of force towards you. Shit, do I roll a save? Um, yep. You need to make a dexterity saving throw. All right. Uh, I'm going to use evasion. Okay. Uh So let me roll my save. Oh, uh, 27. Yeah, that you save. (laughs) Okay. Um, and Uh, then though you fail the save, evasion means that you take no damage. I take no damage. Sweet. Yep. So it blasts by you, tearing sort of a rip in the ocean before the water pours back in. Sweet. Yeah. Well done. That's its turn. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Xerxes, you're up. All right. Well, I don't have rocket boots, and <laughs> yeah, it's I, 150 uh, feet away. It's pretty far away, so I think I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna grab my brother's mech here in my giant <laughs> fist. <laughs> okay, absolutely. <laughs> and cast warding bond. You're scratching my mech. I don't care. I'm protecting <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Warding Bond, which gives him plus one AC, plus one all his saves, resistance to all damage, and I, when you take damage, I take it as well. I'm eating half of your damage. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you, brother. I might act like uh, I don't get along with you, but you know I couldn't make it made it here without you. I just want us to all get out of here alive. Sorry, I just realized it didn't take damage from um, Feeble Mind. Feeble, feeble Mind. It did. It's immune to. Oh, it's immune to Okay. Yeah. Okay. That is actually really good to know. Yep. That's <laughs> thank why you, I thank, you, yeah. thank you for sharing <laughs> that with me. I didn't want to renege on the, the, uh, <laughs> no, no, the damage, yeah. but you needed to know that. Yeah. Yep. That actually. <laughs> yeah. That somewhat changes my. Uh, changes yep. your plans. <laughs> yeah. Now you know. You're good. Um. Yeah. As a. Bonus action, I will also cast Thunderous Smite again to prepare it for the next minute until I get up there. <laughs> Are you moving towards it? Uh, I will stay Okay. for the time being. Sounds good. Hasira, you're up. Oh, shit. All right. You are in melee with this thing. I sure am. I've been deciding what to do here. Um... I thought 22 and then... No, it's, yeah. Yeah, it no, you're here. right. Sorry yeah. about that. I don't know where Rexus. Rexus you. is up. Um, so after after receiving the warding bond from his brother, he, you know, claps an arm on his brother's mech and a surge of energy searches through as I cast Fly. All right. Uh, um, cool. As the spell sort of tears through. Oh, actually, you. yeah, in both of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, both of your mechs um, sort of go through a minor transformation as wings and jetpacks appear on Whoa! the deck, uh, as well as stabilizers. You are prepared for flight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now we're good. And then I'm gonna just fly 30 feet up and 30 feet towards. Okay. So I'm within, or you're 30. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> okay. That, that yes. way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which you know again makes for radio to point. And... <laughs> Mime sort of <laughs> yeah. the layout of it. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. The hypotenuse. <laughs> exactly. There we go. That's the word. Um, cool. No, and then it's my turn. Yep. Okay. Um, you said I'm. I'm basically in. You are in melee. I'm in melee with it now. All right. Well, let's uh, let's make two attacks against it. Let's okay. start with that. Go for it. Let's see. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven hits. Yeah. Okay. And then the second one. Also twenty-seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. One d eight. Seven for the first hit, seven for the second hit. Okay. So 14 points of damage. And as a bonus action, as a bonus action, I'm going to spend a key point and do Flurry of Blows. Okay. Yep. And do two more attacks. You roll that first one. 14. That does not hit. Yeah. And then the second one, uh, 26. That hits. Sweet. Yeah. So for this one, I'm going to roll damage, and then I'll tell you what the technique I do for it is. Um, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, and I want it to... Um, I'm going to try and knock it down. I'm going to see if I can knock it prone. So it okay. needs to make a deck save. Okay. It slips on some kelp. That's a 22. 
Dang. Mm, yeah, that succeeds. Okay. Yeah. Um, at the end of your turn, it is going to use two of its legendary actions um, to attack you twice with its legs. Okay. Um, so that's going to be a a uh, 28 to hit. That hits. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a 22 to hit. Both hit. Okay. First shot is um, a is fourteen. Okay. Second shot is twenty one. Oof. Okay. And it is its turn. Oof. Y'all, um, I probably should have taken patient defense. <laughs> <laughs> you probably should have waited for us. Yeah. <laughs> you're alone, so you're the only thing it sees. And That's on true. that note, it's about to take two more uh, leg attacks at you before it decides which beam it wants to use. Okay. Um. <laughs> that's that's a 21 Great to hit. Y'all, that hits. Okay. Oh, that's a natural one. That's a fail. Okay. Uh, so I'll roll the damage for that. That hit first. Okay. Um, that's 18. Okay. Okay. Um, and after missing horribly with it, its uh, second uh, leg sort of almost falling on itself, but catching um, its weight before it uh, stumbles, uh, it is in frustration going to use its paralyzing beam on you Ooh. as its third attack. So I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Con save? Oh shit. I don't get to deck save to try and jump out of the you way. You do not get to deck save to jump out of the way. If you were near me, you'd have a bonus to your saves. <laughs> 26. Really? Yeah. What? <laughs> con? Yeah, I'm proficient in con saves. I got plus seven. And I rolled a natural 19. Okay, oh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you feel the strange staticky mist pour around your mech. It kind of starts to like stutter almost. Um, you can feel its joints locking up, but the wave passes and you shake it off. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Nice. Okay. Mm. okay, that's the end of its turn. All right. Xerxes, you're up. Is it moved a little closer to get in melee with her? How yeah, close is it Yeah, it's about um, probably 135 feet away from you. Well, wait, how far? Yeah, I'm going to just say it's 135 feet away from you. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, you, I have I 60 foot movement with fly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh-huh. And it's exact. So, yeah. Okay. I will move 60 feet closer with fly. Okay. Along the ground, or are you going up at all? So that puts me. I mean, you can glide over the ground. Yeah, that quickly, puts me so. 75 feet away. You know, I'll. You could dash. Yeah, I wanted to do something, but I guess I'll dash. Um, and I will move up a little bit. So I will be. I'll end up like 20 feet away. And okay. maybe 10 or 15 feet up. And as a bonus, I will. No, I'll just still be frustrated. All right, no, I'll wait. That's my turn. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. One, I forgot about Hunter's Mark. I forgot to add my Hunter's you Mark. You gotta damage. remember it. I'm not yeah, adding it now, I but I I forgot to do my concentration check on oh, right. that um, yeah. beam, and I lost Hunter's Mark. Okay, okay. so <laughs> just letting you know. Thank you. You're welcome. I I really appreciate the honesty. No, Thank no you so worries. Much. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, I'll just try to look as interesting as possible in my orange and purple. <laughs> Fair enough. I swear this isn't punishment or you're just, you're just the closest thing. No. So it is going to use one of its legendary actions Back. Um, to... I'm right there. Ah. Look at me. You're look not, at me. You're, 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 I'm so look, bright. Look at the cloud. Look at the cloud. It's all right. It's okay. It's fine. Oh. I, I, you I guys are so in. close to being within its awareness, but it's so dumb right now. I, it's burning um, its legendary actions on me. So they come up every time. They come back every time. Back, you're yeah. right, you're right. Um, that's a natural 20. Oh, oh no! So, it's... Oof. <laughs> well... Uh, that's 28 damage. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How about oh, no. you retreat for a little bit? <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna do that. Y'all retreat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, plan- I'm planning on it. Uh, all right, I see. Oof. I see my teammate just getting wailed on. You need to stay near me, nearish, nearish. Uh, sixty how? feet. Sixty feet. Okay, so I'm gonna fly my mech up right next to him. Is it within sixty feet? So you went. I, I'm thirty feet up and thirty feet away, so 120 feet away. So I have sixty movement. No, you're not gonna be, and unless you use a your yeah, dash, dash because. Yeah, I had to dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's the, the problem. problem. Yeah, right, oh, right. Okay. And you um, only went thirty feet, so you only have. So I'm not within 60 feet, dang. All right, so there goes that. So instead, what I'm going to do is cast. I'm going to use one of my Warlock abilities to cast, uh, hold on, Paul G's. Um, I'm actually going to cast a Water Elemental. Okay, all right. Um, right behind, right next to it, um, to sort of try and take some of the um, 
Some of the heat. Yeah, some of the heat. And then can it attack that turn? I'm not I actually entirely sure. I believe it gets its sure. own turn. Yeah. So okay, you're so roll, roll, roll initiative for it, and I'll right. add it to the order. <laughs> One. <laughs> okay. Safe and to say it's last. <laughs> it's a three with its dexterity. <laughs> Uh, it is. It has been added to the initiative. <laughs> okay, go. so the water, the Stand water elemental that. has been summoned. Yep. Cool. Okay. That's badass. Allison, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to um, step of the wind and disengage the fuck out of here. So I'll spend a key point for that, and I'm just gonna, whew, I'm gonna get out of fucking melee and. It would be advantageous for you to be near me. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> jump back and head towards what was your the dreadnought. The dreadnought. <laughs> I'm heading back over to the dreadnought, and once I get back there, I'm going to just like touch my body and use wholeness of body, and I'm going to heal 40, 48 hit points. Nice. Not 48. Yes. 48. Three times your Three level. times my uh, huh. level. Yep. Cool. That's Very neat. open hand yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, and I think that's all I can do on this turn. So. Okay. Recovering. Yeah. <laughs> you cast the elemental like at the, the foot of this creature? Uh, it, just below you. What's oh, the range of the cast? Uh, the range, it... So conjure, is it like at your side? Elementals. Conjure elemental, range 90 feet. So, okay. you yeah. Can, wherever, yeah. yeah. Okay. There. So, did you cast it in melee? Or yep, did cast you? it in melee. Cool. Um, seeing this new weird thing in melee and kind of balefully looking after you as you just <laughs> blink away, it's just like, mm. um, it's, it's just gonna attack the only thing that it sees. So it's going to hit this, uh, elemental, which hasn't hurt it yet, but I'm there. you're, Are you're, you're not though. I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. Um, so yeah, it's going to use a little leg attack. Let me get hit. All right. <laughs> um, that's a 17 to hit. Uh, and that in fact hits. Cool. Uh, so that's what type 17? Of, yeah, what type of damage is it? Um, that's 17 pure, uh, slashing damage. Sweet. I have resistance to that. Your elemental has resistance? Yep. Yeah, yeah. cool. Just want to make sure. 17. Does it do more stuff? Uh, no, that that was it. Uh, its second legendary action. You, wait, you just went. I just went. It's yeah. It turn. went. Yeah. No, that was its legendary action. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. Um, okay. okay. So it is... I think it's going to use two of its um, uh, its spine attacks to attack, just continue wailing on this elemental. Mm-hmm. Um, so that first one is a twenty-one, no, twenty-three to hit. Uh, yep, that hits. Okay, and the second one, yeah, it hits. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a natural nineteen. Okay, oh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll roll both of those first. Yeah. That's a twenty-two for the first one. Okay, and, and are those also slashing? Those yes. Ones? Yeah. And a thirteen for the second one. Uh, as your uh, you uh, Xerxes are kind of wailing at like waving at it like I'm here I'm here come on hit me hit me now <laughs> um, it is going to turn its uh, head slowly yeah. towards you yeah. and launch a force beam Ow. in your direction <laughs> um, cuts bridges in half though <laughs> so uh, I need you to make a, a dexterity saving throw oh I'm not good at those though. <laughs> <laughs> It's like she's exploiting our weaknesses. 20. I know, just kidding. No, you made it, yeah. Um, I rolled so 17. Now, yeah, okay, but um, you take half damage, so let okay. me go ahead and roll that. Um, that's, that's 13 damage to you. Okay. That makes it your turn, Victor. What? No, no. Victor. Yeah. You okay. Yep. Get him, Xerxes. Um, <laughs> Fuck him up. How tall is it out of the water? Am I eye level-ish now that uh, I'm 15 feet up? Maybe it's a little bigger? Well, you said that... Well, 15 feet is not really 15 feet, so yes, you are you're okay. about at eye level. You, you said that if we if we are proportionally like scaling this up, if we're still medium creatures, you said it was huge, yes. right? Okay. Huge? Okay. Not gargantuan. Not gargantuan. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, so I will... Yeah. Okay, I will... I have Thunderous Smite here still up. Yes. Oh, wait, I need to maintain concentration. Yeah. Which I do. Okay. okay. So I will use it. I will get up into melee and I will try to smack it. Okay, go for it. That is a 24. To hit? <laughs> to hit. Yeah, I know that hits. And that is 15. Uh, okay, 15 damage. Yeah. And that's bludgeoning and... That is bludgeoning. Okay. And I need to do the other one, yeah. Oh, double sixes. Uh, 12 thunder damage. Okay, sorry. What was the first one? That's 12 thunder 15. damage and 15. Okay. And a strength save or knock it prone. <laughs> <laughs> um, With my mighty hammer. Cool stuff. Let me go ahead and roll that strength save. One moment. 
15. I will bring it to its knees if okay. it had them. <laughs> Fair enough, you come arcing down towards it and your your blow hits and echoes through it and it seems to almost distort uh, with the waves of the sound energy. Uh, and it does seem to crumble down, kind of sinks into itself. All right, for my second attack, I will make it a great weapon master. Ooh. Attack. Oh, I forgot to. Wow, <laughs> yeah. a one and a four. Yeah. So oh, that's right. a thirteen. That uh, that misses. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Okay. <laughs> Finally, as a bonus action, I will cast Compelled Duel to have it make a Wisdom save, and if it fails, it has disadvantage to attack any other creature besides me. Oh, that's cool. That's a ten. That so, is a failure. Yeah. So disadvantage to attack creatures beyond me, and it gets another save if it moves more than 30 feet away. Okay. And that's the end of my turn, up in its grill. Fair enough, that's a good turn. It's the elemental's turn. All right, elemental. Um, Rose. Yeah, it's large. So is, is it gonna be, I guess point of clarification, is it like a mech size or is it just like a, I guess, no. yeah, I guess it would just be a large, yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's kind of small. Yeah, it's just itty bitty, <laughs> itty bitty little wave. Just it's doing its it. thing. Yeah. Um, well, you know what? It still can attack, so let's not discount it. Um, so it can do two slam attacks. Um, I guess if you're casting it from an ele- like, yeah, I guess it would be I mean, it's, size. Yeah, because if you're- ca- <laughs> I think if you, to make it fair- Like casting it relative? I mean, we can just keep the Yeah, stats, we're going to cast it relative. Like, yeah. It's going to be mech size. All right. So out of the ocean, this yeah, yeah, yeah. like a pseudopod thing. of yeah. water comes out. And... <laughs> it's really scary, actually. Yeah, it's. I mean, the, yeah, the that actually the, is a lot more intimidating. The name I was looking for was um, Minions of Chaos, which is a great name for a <laughs> class ability. But um, all right, so it has two slam attacks. So, okay. uh, oof, first one does not hit um, with uh, nine. Okay. Second one hits with twenty-four. I imagine that is correct. All right, so, um, so then that's two d eight um, plus four. So that's five. Unfortunately, 10, 14, no. This is slam. That's bludgeoning yeah. damage. It's immune to bludgeoning damage from non-magical weapons. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's okay. So, yeah, the water just like washes up to it ineffectively. I'm counting your mech weapons as magical. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, our, so like my fists are magical. Yeah, well, weapons. they would be anyway because yeah, you're a monk. But, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> because of that, that, therefore everyone's weapons need to be okay. magical. Okay. Okay. But. Cool. So the yeah, the, the water elemental just kind of like washes it. noodles <laughs> yeah. it around. It's it a, hits though. Give so. it a nice little bath. It yeah. was a distraction. All right. That's true. It does act as a distraction. Mm-hmm. That means it is Sirius' turn. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do. Medium safe for you to come back. <laughs> Medium safe. Do you have? Can I ask, Victor? Do you have healing spells? You, I have, have some healing? healing. You have some healing. I have other it's things to do. It's not your turn. I skipped Gus turn. again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sure did. You were controlling the elemental. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you just yeah. 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 You're right. We'll get back to you. <laughs> All right, come back to me. I yeah. can't while I just right. access. Question for the group: Do we want to frighten it? I mean, that's always good. That is always good, if it can be frightened. Well, it's if it can be frightened, which it's charisma and intelligence are at, yeah. at one. Yeah. So. I don't know. If it can. Do whatever, do whatever sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Okay. Do whatever so, sounds good. Yeah. So sort of seeing how just ineffectual my, uh, my little minion was against this, this horrible beast. My mech suddenly... Uh, what, how, does, how does this work? Uh, or the, it's the um, Dark Delirium. Um, just sort of like thinking like flavor-wise how this would work. Uh, God, there's some cool... <laughs> I don't know what you mean. A cool thing. Yeah, yeah it does. It does something cool really happens, cool. Yeah. And, it, and it dies. <laughs> uh, no, the mech, the mech, it swoops in, and you know, it suddenly you have hologram projection. In hologram projection, it seems about ten times scenes. larger than it than it does, and you know, it, whatever it does, it has to. The uh, creature has to do do a wisdom saving throw. The kaiju render kind of tilts its head <laughs> and seems complete like almost doesn't even seem to see doesn't see these. it the whole light show yeah, cool unfortunately cool. it's immune to frighten uh, yeah all right well um, there you know worth a try at the end of your turn it is going to use two of its legendary actions to shoot a force beam uh at you at um me? yeah xerxes um so i'm gonna need you to make another dexterity saving throw um 16 that just saves. Ooh, yeah, ooh. there you go. Um, so you take 25 halved. So, okay. yeah, 12. 
and its face sort of forms back together. Now you're up. Okay, now Hysteria. it's Hysteria's yeah. turn. Okay, so I'm out of melee with it, which I'm good with, but I'm not too f- too far away from it. I imagine I like went like two or three jumps away from it. I thought you took you got thirty feet back. Was that I got one? like thirty feet back? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm actually going to like my mech's little hands are gonna like like open up, and I'm gonna launch two grenades at it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for the first one. 20. That hits. All right. And then the second one, 21. That also hits. Sweet. Okay. So it's 44 plus 5 for those. 14 for the first one. Okay. And then the second one, 16 for the second one. Okay. Grenade damage. Of, of, and that's piercing damage is what it does. Yeah, but they're, it's magical because yeah. I magical. can do that. I yes. Because <laughs> it's um, grenade. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, you sort of launch these grenades at it and they explode into the side. It seems to sort of shift from side to side. Perfect. Um, and I'm going to use my bonus action to assume patient defense. Okay. Yeah. And going to a defensive pose. Oh. Mm-hmm. Although it already has disadvantage to attack you. It does? Yes. Why? Because it's... I have compelled it to duel with Oh, me. you've compelled it to duel. All right, then maybe... Never mind, then I don't want to do that. Instead... Although its little beams are not attacks, so it's less effective than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's still attacked you. I know. Um... <laughs> Well, those were... Use my field. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be in melee in order for uh, Flurry of Blows to work. Since I just took I just took an attack, so I need to... I would have to get in close before I use Flurry of Blows. Immediately after you take your action. Yeah, so, so it yes. seems to imply, yeah, I, I have so. to be there. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. Well, I am... Then I'm going to use my movement. No, I'm not. You don't feel like joining the party? Yeah. I mean, I just did some damage to it, but I, I'm, if I run into it, then I can't, I can't run away, but it's, it's, it has to attack you, so. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to, but it, it feels compelled to, so. All right, well, I'm gonna use my bonus action, and I'm gonna, uh, well, first I'm gonna use my movement to get up, uh, at it again, and then I'm gonna use my bonus action to do, uh, just one more attack. I'm gonna, like, punch it. Um, 28. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that definitely hits. Okay. Ooh. 12. 12 points of damage. Okay. How close are you to me? Well, how far away were you from it? I'm in melee. Oh, then I'm like right up there with you. Yeah. While while you're nearby. Yeah. You have plus four to all saving throws. Cool. So (laughs) keep that in mind if you get beamed. Thanks. (laughs) Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, All right. It is the render's turn. It has no reason in its very like fairly non-existent mind to ignore this compulsion so it's going to take all three attacks towards you <laughs> all right uh, this is Xerxes? yes so it's gonna well first i want to see if it nope it doesn't recover its paralyzing beam first attack is uh 22 with disadvantage? oh yeah with disadvantage sorry that's 22 and oh no Miss? Yeah, that's 14. Aha. Still disadvantaged then. <laughs> yeah. All right, second attack is 22 again. Ooh. Ooh. And? Ooh. 13. Nope. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, and it's going to peel back and use its force beam on you. So Ooh. please make a uh, dexterity saving throw. 18? Yeah, yeah, that makes it. You Woo! Made it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's impressive. Best that's of awesome. the best. Let's, of the best. Some, let's do some charisma saves. I have plus thirteen to charisma <laughs> saves. Never come up. Um, <laughs> God, that's nine. You take nine points of damage. Nine. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. I like it. That's Tank it. Tanking this thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, that's it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that means that. Uh, well, no, you're up, sir. Okay. Um, I will cast. A guardian of faith. Ooh. Ooh. What's it look like? It looks like the other Rock'em Sock'em robot. <laughs> the blue one. <laughs> he is my partner it. in crime. I love it. He's my frenemy. <laughs> um, and he will he will loom behind me. Okay. <laughs> and I don't... When does it do this? <laughs> uh, starts his turn there. Okay, so creature's turn. Okay, but it's behind you. 
So you're it's, not summoning it in... It's within 10 feet. Okay. So it has 10 foot range. Okay. Yeah, I want to keep it to retreat behind if I need to. Okay. Um, Sounds good. That is my action. Okay. And as a bonus action, I will look as menacing as I can. <laughs> Just to, to lure its its ire? Or, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I will strike a cool pose. Sure. <laughs> I like a Gundam like pose. The pose. <laughs> yep. um, cool stuff. The elemental is up. <laughs> What's it going to do? It'll attack, but if it's immune, I guess it just sort of wobbles in effect okay. against it. I wasn't sure if it knew something other than slam. Um, it um, can try and grapple it. it, can, which, it can actually, yeah, we have, we've decided that it's lar- Well. Yeah. Yeah, if, it, if it's large enough to shove. grapple, then yeah. It's gonna try and grapple it. Okay. Um, let's make a DC 15 strength saving throw. It's a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> they rolled a nat one, so... Uh, so okay, yeah. so the yeah, so the water <laughs> coils around the kaiju and just kind of keeps just it there. It's just, it's just it, there. It also does a lot of bludgeoning. <laughs> it is just there. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> it, it normally does bludgeoning damage too, but yeah, it's just kind of just kind of hanging out. Give it a little hug. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It is now wet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in reaction to that, it's just going to quietly use two of its legendary actions to shoot another force beam at this intimidating presence. <laughs> um, Come at me. Yeah, once again, another deck save. Finally failed. Okay. <laughs> That's a seven. Oh, that was the wrong one to fail Damn on. Damn it. Oh, no. That was really the wrong one to fail on. Uh, that's 35 points. <gasps> uh, oh. I'm good. I'm good, guys. You good? I've been tanking it like a, like a, like, like a tank, like, like a, a dreadnought. Like a champ. <laughs> tank like a tank. Okay. Rexus, you're up. Um, okay, so after seeing all of my attacks fail ineffectively. <laughs> Feeble um, Mind definitely Feeble worked. Feeble Mind was the one that really did work, but um, going to extend one finger, point it at it, and cast Finger of Death. Okay. Oh, nice. Cool, nice. Um, so that is a con save. That's 20. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it takes 32 points of necrotic damage. Damn, that's still good. Okay. Yeah. It withers away. And I'm just gonna keep on flying, just hanging out. <laughs> Very nice hit. That means that it's Sira's uh, turn. Okay. Uh, um, all right. I really wanna get Hunter's Mark back up, but I have to use an action to do that. No, I wanna start making some hits on it. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna get in there and make two attacks against it. Okay. Yeah, so let's go. Uh, natural 19 for that the hits. first one, and 27 for the second one. Yeah. No okay. One. You Ba-bang. duck right under its cover and just <gasps> boom, boom. All right. First attack does eight points of damage, and the second one does 10 points of damage. Yep. Uh, and then for my bonus action, I'm going to spend a key point, and I'm going to do flurry of blows. I want to hit it two more times. Okay. I Go wanna, for it. I want to keep going. First one. 21 hits okay and i'm gonna um let's see here okay i'm gonna roll damage on that and i'm going to use my way of the open hand to try and knock it prone on that one okay. so let me roll my damage first eight points of damage and it has to make a dex save of 15 14 oh. yes <laughs> yeah all right so it's, it's not prone, prone. Okay. okay, it is grappled and prone. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and then for my last, We're winning. <laughs> my last blow, um, I guess has advantage because mm-hmm. it's on the ground. So let's see. Thank God. Um, Twenty-seven. That hits. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice turn. Excellent. And then for this one, um, I do ten points of damage, and I'm going to use my other open hand um, to stop it from using reactions. So it cannot make any reactions this turn. Okay. Or I don't think legendary actions count as reactions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just so don't you know. think so. They're yeah. just they're outside yeah, it's just of everything. If you, yeah, I just wanted to, That's to fine. say that yeah. out loud. So um, it can still use those, but it can't make opportunity attacks. Exactly. And, like that. Yes. and I'm going to use that to my advantage now because now I'm going to duck out of um I'm gonna jump back like 10 feet away from it. Okay, kind of like pseudopod reaches towards you, but it's grappled and prone and can't use reactions. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not super impressive. <laughs> um, I just want to jump out of the way. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, it is now the Rinder's turn. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is going to oh. use... 
Yes. My blue robot is going to strike out with a fist. Good point. And Started its dex turn. Dex save. Kep. For damage. It's in that one. 20 Ooh. radiant damage. Oh my god. Right in its Dang. face. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and that's every time it starts its turn there? Uh, yeah, but it only it goes away after a certain amount of damage. Okay. So, three successful or... Look, you know, it's we'll not smart enough to think about that. <laughs> yeah, that's I fine. was just curious. <laughs> um, it can do a total of look, 60 damage. Here's the truth. That Feeble Mind spell actually like does have a very specific payoff, which is that I don't have the ability to make it... You can't make it rational no, anymore. No, it, it can't make tactical moves. It's just It just does. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, so, on that note, um, well, first I'm going to see if it got its uh, paralyzing beam back. Yeah, that was really clutch. Yeah. That was a good first move. And it did, which is nice. It's not me. Uh, so, um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to use Bless half you. of <laughs> my dog. Is... Bless you. Bless you, you beautiful pup. Yeah, it's going to use half of its uh, movement to stand up. Uh, <laughs> okay. And then it's in melee with the thing it wants to hit, so it's going to hit you two sort of spires jet out of it and it's going to try to use its spite and attack. Disadvantage. Why? Why? Displacement field. Oh, right, because it hasn't hit yet. I yes. haven't taken yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. turn. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> like uh, first one was a 19 and a 15, so yeah. Oh, total? Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, the second one is a let's see, that's a 28 or a 26. So both of those hit. <laughs> so that's 17 points of damage. Okay. Okay. And then since it has its paralyzing beam back and it doesn't have any reason not to, uh, you see down its torso um, what look like eyes tear open glowing gold and it is going to launch a spray of basically paralyzing electricity at you. Uh, you need me? to make a constitution saving throw. Just me? Mm-hmm. Taking hard. 17. That fails. Ah, Unfortunately, no. you are paralyzed for one minute. I get it at my turn? Yeah. Oh. The paralyzed target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns. Yeah. Um, if the, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, and that's the end of its turn. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Uh, now it is the elemental, which is still there. <laughs> yep, and it's, like, it's grappling. Okay. Uh, not going to do anything else. Um, uh, in that case, it is your turn, Rexus. Okay, is it still prone? Uh, no, it stood up. Okay, it stood up. All right, in that case, I'm going to Eldritch Blast it. Okay, go for it. Two attacks, right and left. So right attack is, um, oof, not good, 11. Uh, misses. Plus mm. anything? Uh, plus, oh, plus 10, so that's 14. Never mind. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah. It still misses. And 14. Cool. Oh, Real no. cool. So, just two beans. Just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Splash. Oh, into I have three beans. Oh, so then. Yeah, so right and left hand, and then actually, it's, I have a third one. Again, sorry. It's uh, so the third beam. Come on. Come out of the center of my chest, and that's 18. It doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, I'm, just, I'm just doing a little laser show. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, the render is going to use two of its legendary actions to shoot a force beam at you, Rexus, uh, and you automatically sail the, uh, fail yeah. that throw, uh, saving throw because it's dexterity, so you take 27 points of damage. How you doing, bud? I am still alive. Sorry, Xerxes, not Rexus. I apologize. <laughs> For Xerxes, yeah. Yep, nope. That's, I am still I just alive said the wrong one. for not much longer. Okay. It will depend entirely on if I make my save on my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, That's not great. It is your turn, Asira. Okay. Um, Stunning strike wouldn't go awry. I know. That, <laughs> prob That's what I'm planning to do. So, oh, but I still want to get Hunter's Mark on it. I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna do a bunch of I'm gonna do a bunch of hits on it. I'm gonna attack it twice. Go for it. Well, actually, question. Mm -hmm. Um. The the grenade it says I can it I can use it in either melee or not. Yeah. Okay. For my first attack, I'm actually gonna throw my last grenade at it okay. before I rush in there and and, and hit it. Um, okay. So let me roll that. Ah, oh, fourteen does not hit. Ah. Uh -huh. All right. I'm gonna rush. It launches in. up and over the creature, which is lucky because if it fell back down on you, it would have been nasty. That would have been really shitty. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I'll run in there and do my second attack and and smack it. Okay. Uh, Twenty-two. That hits. Okay, sweet. And this one. Oh 
man. Uh, six points of damage, but I'm going to make this a stunning strike. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend a key point to try and do that. And uh, it has to make a con save. Seven. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo! All right. Oh, we needed that. (laughs) It is stunned. Okay. All right. And with that, I'm going to spend one more key point to uh, do a flurry of blows and hit it two more times. Okay. You have advantage on this strikes. Yep. Thank God. Uh, 29. That was a natural 19 for the first one. That hits. Mm -hmm. And a natural 19 again. So those both hit. And da, 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 da. nine on the first one. Okay. And then on the second, should I try and push it? Prone is better. Prone is better. Okay, I'm going to try and do that. Uh, and then for the second one, uh, that's eight points of damage. And I would like it to try and make t- uh, a dex save. I'm going to try and sweep its legs again and knock it down. Okay. And I don't I th- think it has disadvantage on dex. Uh, wait, a dex save? A dex save. Okay, it does have disadvantage. Yes. No, it automatically fails. Oh, it automatically fails. Yeah, right. It's down. It's because it's stunned. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so it goes down. Okay, it's down. All right, it's prone, it's stunned. Guys, get in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, does it Woo! save at the end of its turn, or is it just one full round? It's just one full round. So okay. when it end of my next turn, uh, that's when it's no longer stunned. Cool. Yep. And that's your yeah. turn, and that's its turn. Xerxes, you're up. Yeah, I have to... Did I have a turn last time? I haven't rolled at the end of my turn yet. This is your turn. Oh, it was a legendary yeah, thing it was a for legendary the paralyzing? Action. Got it. Uh, so... 22 for the paralysis. Oh, to break it? To, to save on the paralysis. Oh, yeah. You make it. You're okay. up. Okay. Uh, but it's the end of my turn. Yeah. Oof. Then the elemental goes by. Uh, still, <laughs> still, grappling, still grappling this poor stunned and so uh, creature. It's not doing anything like by Just grappling let it. Go. It, right? Let it go home. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not really adding too much, but you know. Um, Get some flavor, I guess. Yeah. But you're up, Rexus. Yep. Um, so it's stunned and I'm going to fly in. It's and stunned. prone. Stunned and prone. Stunned and prone. So I'm going to fly in and um, extend both my arms and shoot out a noxious poison spray. Okay. Okay, um, cool. And yeah, I have to be within 10 feet of it. So that's the one downside. Um, so it's doing a con save. I'm so sorry. It's immune to poison. <laughs> 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 you give me a character and then you, you, build, you build an enemy that's immune against all of its attacks. You know? yeah. yep. Yes, that's what's happened. Uh, cool. I mean, there's not much I can say about that. because like. <laughs> cool. Then I'm going to use the rest of my movement to fly away. So I guess I'm like 10, 15 feet away from it. Okay. We, oh, we skipped over its turn, but I still have my guardian up. Oh, oh your guardian. Can we do that? Yeah, no, it would have taken damage on its turn. Sorry. Mm-hmm. It, yes. has a, it has a save. Uh, dex save. It oh, it fails. It fails. 20 more radiant damage. Okay. That's you guys are, are really taking care of this thing. Um, it's taken a lot of damage, yeah, um, as you can tell. Chipping like, away at it. Yeah, you're slowly, you can <sighs> kind of see um, portions of it where it's starting to cave in a little bit. Doesn't look happy. Well, it doesn't look like it feels much at all, but... Sierra, <laughs> you're up. Okay. Um, well, seeing that, I'm gonna get in there and it'll, it's still uh, it's still prone and stunned, so I'm gonna just wail on this thing. So... Advantage on all your hits. Yep. And I used all my grenades. 27 for the first one. Hit. Um... And 20 for the second one. Hits. Sweet. Barely, but hits. Oof. Okay. Let's roll that attack. Seven. <laughs> and six is what I did on that. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. And then I will... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll spend a key point and I'll uh, flurry blows. I'll go smack it some more. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. Well, it's advantage. Yep. Yeah, it is in the most vulnerable position it could be in. Yeah, so. exactly. 28 and 20 again. Both hit. God damn. I'm not going to survive the next round. Um, (laughs) Okay, okay. I'm I'm trying to decide if I should. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't stun it again because it's already stunned. So I'd have to be unstunned for me to use a stunning strike again. You can't just change stun. Yeah. Um, nine for that first hit, and oof, I, 13 for the second hit. It's a damn good hit. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, and then 
for that second hit, um, I want to stop it from using reactions. Okay. Um, again, until it's uh, its next turn. But it is no longer stunned at yes. the end of my turn. At the end of your turn, after it is no longer stunned, it is going to use two of its like legendary actions. Okay. Um, to cast its force beam at you. Uh, so go ahead and make. Sorry, that was to Xerxes. Sorry. Xerxes. Okay. I need to get. I need to stop doing that. Uh, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Dexterity. Twenty. Makes it. But I only have eighteen hit points. Well, we're gonna, <laughs> gonna find out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're alive. Oh my god! You no take way. Thirteen damage. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! You're alive. I'm at five. It guys. is its turn now, though. Oh no! It has no. disadvantage. It does. <laughs> It's, Let's this, do it! Look, it's gonna keep attacking you until Let's you're down. Let's do it. So yeah. I, I have compelled it to do I this. I know, yeah. I understand. And it keeps you guys alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's worked. First of all, let's see if it gets its feedback. It. back. It does not. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. Let's so, do it. Um, first attack. Is, uh, that's a 20 and a, yeah, no. So does 20 hit? 20 hits. Oh, I'm okay. dead. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Yeah. How that's, many? Uh, nine points of damage. Okay. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> so it spires through you, um, kind of like one part of itself flinging off into infinite space for a single moment as it shoots through your mech. Um, You've taken a ton of damage. You've really taken a beating. And finally it shows as your Rock'em Sock'em robot uh, <laughs> kind of crumbles beneath itself. And I guess the Guardian of Faith disappears. Stays. But it does. It stays. Not concentration. Okay. It also probably does damage, right? Uh, on its turn? Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Last time. It will time. be. It will. Yeah. It is its turn. Uh, so. Yeah. Deck save. This might be its last time though. Nope. That's a two. I mean, 20, whew, and a, then my robot uh, fades. Two plus, yeah. Okay, okay. That that final hit though deals a like a devastating blow to this creature. It is it is no longer structurally sound. <laughs> it's you, you can crumbling see, like sand. Yeah, it, it is. It is parts of it are just slooshing off um, into the ocean as it sort of like shudders and jitters in place looking kind of scarier than it ever has what has been sort of this mountain of unassuming you know monstrosity suddenly looks very alien in a way that it, it just hasn't before but it is still alive it is going to use its second um attack uh hasira are you in range uh, you she moved out of melee. Okay. No, I was in. I I had moved back into melee with it. Because you just did four I hits. Just did, you four didn't hits. Disengage, so. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna use its second attack on uh, you. Okay. Um. That's a. That's a natural twenty. Oh no. <laughs> so that is. Um, Could have been two death saves. Twenty-two <laughs> plus six. So that's yeah. That's twenty-eight. Okay. Damage to you. All right. And then it is going to use its force beam on you as well. So um, you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I am, again, going to use evasion on that. We're still bonded. Six, yep. 16. Nice. That is just enough. <laughs> <laughs> you You see this beam so shooting good. at you, and you almost don't think to dodge. It is a, a breath between you and the force shooting by your face. It almost burns your nose, but you evade it. Oh, I got like goosebumps. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> making me really nervous. Ooh. It is now the elemental. Uh, well, no, you have to, um, yeah. Yeah, Xerxes, uh -oh. you have to make a death save. Two. Fail. Oh, That's a fail. Oh, bad. <laughs> At the end of its turn, it is going to use a, le a legendary action to make another, um, Leg attack towards uh, you, Asira. Okay. That is a 17 to hit. Just barely hits. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's 20 damage. Oh my god! I'm looking a little rough. I would as help they if say. I was up. <laughs> I wish I could help you, but I can't. It's actually going to use its second leg legendary action to make one more leg attack towards you. Okay. It's in berserker mode. It, it like it, it is flailing with everything it has. Shit! Um, all right, all right, all right. That 
is gonna miss though. Yeah, no, that's a that's a fourteen. It misses. Yeah. Holy I shit. Mean, I don't know. You hear that mental screech tearing through your mind, but you dodge out of the way of its second strike. It's slowing. It does not look good. Oh my god. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, Rex is you're yeah. up. Come on, man. Take it down. All right. Gonna do it. Let's I go. shout over the comm unit. I'm like, <laughs> you can do this, man. Get it. <laughs> and yeah, and focus. You know, align my three beams for Xerxes. And three attacks. Okay. So. Um, 19. Hits. Ooh! Nat one. <laughs> Misses. Oh no! Um, 16. Misses. <laughs> that was brutal. Oh my god! Uh, 13 damage. 13? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Is just enough. Ah! Oh my god. Yeah, one beam goes wide. You're like, you see your brother looking dead at your feet, his mech cold and lifeless, and you launch the second bolt, and it goes wide too, and how does the final one do it? Uh, the third one shoots out of out of my chest, out of my center chakra, and sort of hits in between the crumbling parts and hits the alien core. Absolutely. You shoot straight through the center of this creature, and you can see the entirety of it caving in on itself. Not just structurally falling down to the earth, but almost like it's imploding in front of you. The pieces from the outside quickly teleporting into the center as this beast dissolves into a screeching, horrifying nothing. You beat back the kaiju. And as you <sighs> see this creature collapse in on itself, you look back towards the, the mainland and you can see the rest of the render are also dissolving. It seems like it, this kaiju created them and with it gone, they have nothing to sustain it and they fall away, each popping out of existence along the bridge and towards the training facility. <sighs> you made it, folks. Well, I'm gonna make another deck save. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two. Well, is anyone no, coming? No. Anyone, anyone, anyone that, coming for so me? Does he Two of the three of you made it, folks. If, I haven't if, died if yet. Mech, I have six more seconds. Dies, if the mech dies, do you do, die in real life? I do the life. thing where you um, get out of, you're, you, like, you get out of the hatch of your mech and I come over and you like stand in the hand of my mech. <laughs> and... Oh, well, I'm not dead right. yet. <laughs> are, are you doing something about it? I can't do anything I, I, about it. I have nothing to heal unless with. We have, unless that healing potion. Oh my god, it's two and two. <gasps> are you kidding me? <laughs> this is it. Nobody can heal you, so it, heal it comes you. down to you. You have to, you have to heal yourself. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Do it. I'm up. <gasps> oh my I'm god. <laughs> and I go. <gasps> and you can see the lights. Flicker back into life along um, the the massive green and purple rock of robot. <laughs> and I lay hands on myself and give myself 40 HP. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Holy shit, we're all alive. I'm so proud of all of you guys. Aww, that's a cute Good job. Oh my god, that was a great fight. That Thank was you very so much. Good. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I could do a whole you stand up and watch the sunset, but technically the sun's already set, so I, I think I'm gonna just... limp my mech back to shore before I drown it. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah. well, it's perhaps, destroyed. Yeah. It's the it's the anticlimax of a true victory, I think, is, is so what, what do we do now? Well there's no one alive on the base, yeah. so I think we have to head to shore and like go get some I, repairs. I'm personally, just for the sake of narrativeness, gonna cut off before you have to start sorting through the bodies of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We we walk back to shore and the credits, you know. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're rolling over. Over no, no, the no. top of We need to get deep. Back. Is money still tenable in this post-apocalyptic future that we've created now that everyone is dead? Do we have to barter now? I don't have any other skills besides fighting these. I mean, only I still have an ex, so I think I'm dead. Well. Yeah. <laughs> only, only, yeah, not everybody is okay, dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. So, we're, so the next Ooh. one, the next one shot won't be Mad Max style after this. <laughs> <laughs> I think not, especially because you probably want to get your mech repaired. <laughs> um, but on that note, you do see that the mech is starting to stitch itself back oh, together. Oh, they cool. are still <laughs> healing. That um, was yeah. so cool, Yay. Gina. That was, that was so, so much fun. fun. I love the mech part, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for, for playing this with me. I had been wanting to build a one-shot for a while, so. <laughs> the mech part was really cool, and it gave us a chance to like play at a really high level. We've never played at anything above, I think, 10. No, so. that's true. And I feel like yeah. for very good reason, but nonetheless, consistently, I always push you at like level 
five and six mm -hmm. because it's manageable. You Keeps can't, you in a box. <laughs> yeah, you can't tear a hole in the universe. Right. But I did want to give you something fun to like wail at. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> um. Well, I think we're gonna uh, wrap it here. I really enjoyed um, playing through this with all of you, and thank all of you listening for joining us for our pilot of D D Major. Mm -hmm. Woo! That was really fun. I hope we can do more of this. Yes, yeah, thank, so you thank you guys. All right, we'll see you folks. Bye. 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 Thank you for listening to D&D Major Pilot Test. Pilot Test was written by Gina Smith, starring Gina Smith, Allison Mann, Gus Ireland, and Victor Mann. The music was composed, orchestrated, and recorded by Jacob Ryan Smith. D&D Major was created by Gina Smith, Jacob Ryan Smith, and Allison Mann. If you're interested in supporting the creators and future productions, please consider donating to our Patreon at patreon.com slash shortonegaming. Or to see our Let's Plays and other projects, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash shortonegaming. 